Hello, and welcome to our Star Wars episode of Blood on the Clock Tower. How's everybody doing this evening? Great. Great. Wonderful. Good. May the fourth be. May the fourth be with you. I will go around the Grim and welcome all of our cadets, all of our trainees, all of our Padawan. Uh, when I introduce you, why don't you tell us, give us one word or one character that comes to mind when you think of Star Wars. We're going to start at the top of our Grim with Elise. <laughs> and I can't hear you, Elise. <laughs> oh, no, I think she's oh. frozen. Oh no! Right. We'll no, come back to Elise good. in the moment. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Beardy. Uh, as as quite a hairy person, it's always Chewbacca for me. I always think Chewbacca. He's great. That's <laughs> his cosplay. Beardy's his cosplay. <laughs> Ridings. Oh, Lord Sidious. Jesse. I've only seen the first movie, R two D two. That's all you really need uh, to see. Test audio. Brian yes, Terry. Can. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the kind of forgotten background characters. So I'm gonna go with IG88. <laughs> nice. Ah. We have our, our Rogue Squadron member, Victory Bell. Hey. 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 Cool. That's what. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna be a firefox flyer guy. And I'm gonna explode. <laughs> I the Star Wars fan of the died. subscription. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Rowan. Hi, I'm Rowan. I most identify with, uh, while they have Chewie and Chains walking through the Death Star, he yells at this little teapot on wheels and it cries <laughs> out and runs away. And that's, that's, that's my choice. Excellent. Micah Draws. Hi. Um, apparently, because this was what I grabbed that has a hood, uh, the character I think about is Goku. <laughs> <laughs> no authentic Star Wars Goku right here, so that uh, must have missed that movie. Ariel, <laughs> um, Yoda. <laughs> That's a fair choice. Hell's up. Uh, fell in love with Han Solo first, you know, first time around. So Han, yeah. That's a solid choice too, Eric. <laughs> Harrison Ford is dreamy. Uh, when I think Star Wars, I think the Millennium Falcon it was uh, one of the first things I liked about the movie theater. Like the blue jet it had as it was flying across. I just thought that Very shit was cool. so damn cool. It was my favorite mm -hmm. character, the, yeah. the ship. Is oh, no, no, yeah, 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 it can be. Is there a place to tour like inside the Millennium Falcon? It's like, is there something like Disney World where you can go inside? Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, probably back there. Like, if I had billions of dollars, I would build a, like another like side house that looks just like the Millennium Falcon. I think that would be totally cool. Oh, your neighbors would love you. Yeah, <laughs> Glenn. So I would say Obi Wan. <laughs> oh yeah. Because <laughs> I'm convinced that they're going to film Obi Wan's entire life. Baby Obi Wan's got to be the next series. <laughs> Which Obi Wan? I have to ask, which Obi Wan did you like better? I actually like the new one. I just really like it. That's the one Grady yeah. likes. Yeah. Ewan McGregor's really good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And Elise. Hopefully, my audio works this yeah. time. Um, hey. Embarrassingly, I haven't watched Star Wars and don't know the characters. However, I think that it, there's probably a sun or a giant star, like a fiery ball that just exists. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be that. <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> there is a planet that blows up. Yeah, yeah I'll be that one. We do have Catboy. <laughs> Catboy's in our chat, and Catboy votes for Spock. So with that, first of all, before well, I Picard, Picard in that case, <laughs> before I pass out characters, I'll tell us, tell you briefly about our script today. This is Jedi Mind Tricks by Goblin Theo, who is me. Uh, this is a loosely adapted script from another script that I saw somewhere along the line, and. Uh, yeah, we've got some Star Wars themed characters on here, like the bounty hunter, like the general, things like that. Even the moon child. So I think I, I really dig your child. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got some fun ones for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and pass out our characters. We have twelve players today. That means we should have seven townsfolk, two outsiders, two minions, and a demon. And I am handing those out now. So take a look at that. 
and I will send you into the night. Good night, my Padawans. Good night. Hello and welcome back. Let's go around our grim and see what we have in store for the day. <laughs> Perfect already. We have, with space buns, we have General Elise with her side hair all ready to go. Absolutely perfect. We have Beardy, our imp, which is going to be legendary. Riding's our mutant, which is also be a lot of fun. Of course, a mutant. If you're mad about being an outsider, you might be executed. We have Jesse, our widow. Jesse gets to be evil once again, which I am always a fan of. Ryan Terry gets to be a starting character as a librarian. Victory Bell gets to be evil once again as well. I feel like Victory Bell has had quite an evil streak lately as the Serenovus, which would be very interesting. Rowan <laughs> is our other outsider as the Moonchild, which we haven't had very much uh, lately on the channel. Our Moonchild, when you learn that you died, publicly choose one alive player tonight. If it was a good player, they die. So this is an outsider that, of course, has a bit of a dubious power for good, but they also can potentially... Um, verify a good player, uh, although they will be killing that player in the process. Uh, we have Micah Draws, our fortune teller, who is familiar to everybody. Our chambermaid is Ariel. Each night, choose two alive players, not yourself. You learn how many woke tonight due to their ability. Of course, the due to their ability is the important part there. Hell's that's going to be trying to die is the Raven Keeper, who you've seen before. Eric is our bounty hunter. You start knowing one evil player. If the player you know dies, you learn another evil player tonight, and one townsfolk is evil. And finally, we have our amnesiac Glenn. You do not know what your ability is. Each day, privately guess what it is. You learn how accurate you are. So let's choose our evil townsfolk, and our evil townsfolk is going to be Glenn, our evil amnesiac because our amnesiac ability tonight is, and this was uh, taken from uh, Patters, who did this on the stream about a year ago, and I thought this was a lot of fun. Each night, choose an evil character that wakes. Tonight, that character appears to trigger on a good player or players. So I'll show you how that works as we go through it. But that's gonna be a lot of fun. What other setup do we need to do? I don't think there's a lot. Uh, our librarian, you start knowing. Oh, and also, if you are curious about the amnesiac ability, you should be able to hit exclamation point amnesiac in the chat, and the power should pop up. Um, yeah, legendary Mr. L, if you're there, uh, give it a shot if you like. Let me know if it works, or hopefully it's not last week's power. But yeah, uh, exclamation point amnesiac should pop that up. Our librarian, you start knowing one or two players is a particular outsider. Um, I'm not going to do the meeting. I'm going to do Rowan the Moonchild. And who else are we going to ping with that? We might ping... Ooh, who else is going to be on the down low? <laughs> I could do writings. I could just do both outsiders that way. Each night choose... Yeah, yeah, it works. Thank you, a legendary Mr. L, Catboy. Let's... Maybe we could do writings. That could be very interesting. Let's go... Yeah, that, I like that idea. All right, that's going to be an interesting conversation. Uh, anything else? We need to set up our red herring. And of course, Hells is going to be wanting to die. So that's usually a good shout. Who else might be a good red herring? Uh, kind of, well, I don't know. I'm always tempted to do Ryan Terry because Ryan Terry always seems evil. Oh, I'm going to do Eric, obviously. We're going to make Eric a red herring because he is not going to want to die as the bounty hunter. Um, yes, Legendary Mr. L, he will wake up and find out that he is evil. Uh, I'll do that conversation in a second. Uh, Chambermaid, Raven Keeper, Bounty Hunter, who is the Bounty Keeper going to know? I think the Bounty Keeper is going to know about Jesse. Because Jesse's going to get their information early on. If Jesse doesn't make it through, then that's all right. But Jesse's also going to get the opportunity to poison somebody, so that could change everything. All right. I think we are good to go. Just doing a quick jaunt around to make sure that I have everything set up properly. Yeah, it's looking good. 
Let's go give our demons their information. Hello there. Hello. Oh. Yeah. My Hello. chats are way in the corner for some reason. There we are. <laughs> Welcome back. How do you feel about being the imp today? I I must prefer being a minion to a demon, but imp is one of my favorite demons, so I don't mind at all. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> well, you've got a good team backing you up today. You have Jesse and Victory Bell. Jesse, Victory Bell, wonderful. And you have a couple of fun bluffs, I think. Yeah. You, you have Noble, Balloonist, and Town Crier. Ooh, I do like those. Awesome. Excellent. Cool. Thank well, you very much, Theo. Yes, please enjoy your game. Uh, may oh, the force be with you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you ready to go undercover? No. <laughs> well, I wasn't prepared for this today. <laughs> you have a fun job because you are going to get to see the entire grimoire here in a moment. So I recommend I taking a screenshot or... You know, yeah. grabbing your phone and taking a picture of it because it might go away when you click on it. Um, and you're going to have to choose a player, and they're going to be poisoned for the rest of the game until as long as you're alive. Okay. So, are you ready to see this grim? Yes, I'm going to take a picture of my phone. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I need to do before this happens. Yeah, so. All right, I will send this to you now. Checking chat to make sure nobody says, oh, you haven't set this up, but I think we're good to go. <laughs> um, all right. You're going to see the bluffs in the middle here, too. All right. I am sending this to you now. So I'm going to walk through a couple of things here mm -hmm. with you. Did you get it? And so I, cl I click where it says the grimoire? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Catboys okay. in chat sending you good luck. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Catboy. So I'm going to walk you through a few things here. You got the grimoire? Yes. Let me make sure I can read it on my phone. Yes. Okay. First thing I'm going to point out to you is that we have a bounty hunter in this game, which turns one townsfolk evil, and that townsfolk is Glenn the Amnesiac. Whoa, that's so wild. Glenn is evil. Uh, Glenn is not going to know any of the other evil team. So mm -hmm. it's a bit up to you to maybe bring Glenn into the fold to let him know what's going on. He will know that he's evil, um, but he's not going to know anything else. So, will um, the demon know that he's one of the evil team? Nope. The only person who knows is you. So okay. you can certainly tell your demon. Uh, oh, I haven't told you who your demon is. Your demon. Oh, you see it now. Well, I can see. Yeah. <laughs> and your other minion is Victory Bill, of course. Um, but yeah, so you probably want to make sure that Beardy and Victory Bell know that Glenn is evil and let Glenn know who the evil team is uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you also know right. that Eric, our bounty hunter, knows that you are evil. It's going to be told that you are evil. Because he Got gets it. to know that. Um, but you also get to select somebody to be uh, the uh, poisoned person for this game. So you can take a look around. Mm -hmm. You know, you can choose somebody like a first knight character, like Ryan Terry, who's a librarian. Or you can choose a powerful ability like Eric the Bounty Hunter. Um, it's just whatever you think is best. There's also Micah Draws the Fortune Teller. Uh, Ariel the Chambermaid can be surprisingly powerful too. Um, and mm -hmm. also, uh, one thing I haven't told you uh, that I haven't put on here is that somebody gets told that the Widow is in play. And I'm probably going to tell Ariel. Um, okay. So I'm going to wake up Ariel and tell yeah. her that the Widow is in play. Um, so the other option you have is that if you don't want anybody to know there's a Widow in play, you can poison yourself. But it's not usually the ideal choice because it kind of just mm -hmm. takes away half of your ability. Uh, plus, there's somebody out there who already knows you're evil. Um, okay. But yeah, if you choose somebody like the Bounty Hunter, Eric, then uh, I won't tell them you're evil. I'll tell them that there's a good player who's evil. Do you have any questions about maybe uh, your choice here? Or do you want a second and um, I can go... So what exactly does the Bounty Hunter again? So uh, I can't open the character. <laughs> yeah, the Bounty Hunter, you start knowing one evil player. If the player you know okay. dies, you learn another evil player tonight. So right now, Eric is mm -hmm. going to know... I'm going to tell Eric that Jesse is evil. And if he gets you killed or if you die, then I'm going to tell him another evil player. Like... I'll say Beardy is evil, or Victory Bell is evil, or Glenn is evil. So um, that's a pretty powerful ability. So generally, mm -hmm. poisoning a bounty hunter is a pretty good shout. Um, 
that's usually, I think, the default option for a lot of people who see one on the script. But it's up to you what you think is best. Do you want a moment to think about um, it? I haven't, I haven't woken up Victory Bell yet. So do you want to take a moment and I come back to you? Um, yeah, let me like read each of the characters real quick that I don't know too super well. And then yeah. I should be good. That's good. I'll, I'll wake you up. Uh, I just need to wake. I'll wake, uh, I'll wake Victory Bell and Glenn up and I'll come back to you. Because that okay. won't affect you. Okay, good luck. See you in a second. <laughs> Hello, Victory Bell. I'm getting so hot in this house. <laughs> Let's do this. this. I I'm hear gonna you. Die second, third. Uh, you look amazing, though. I love it. Um, are you ready to be evil again as a Serenovus? Okay, wait. Uh, is the Serenovus the one where I have to pick a character? that is not in play and if it's already in play it doesn't work no that's the pit hag the Serenovus, uh each night you choose a player and a good character and they have to be mad okay. that that character tomorrow or they can be executed so this can be useful in a number of ways you can use it if you target somebody who maybe has really good information you can make them uh pretend to be a different role uh, so they can't share their information and they might have to spread misinformation. You know, if you tell them that they have to be mad that they're the balloonist, they're going to have to make up names. If you tell them to be mad that they're the, you know, I don't know, the amnesiac, the uh, fortune teller, the noble, they're going to have to give uh, wrong information to people. And so it can really muddy up the waters. Some people will stick to one person each, the, every game, every night and keep that person locked into claiming that role uh, other people will bounce around if they think it's uh important um but if they break their madness and they get executed does that make sense mm -hmm. so like you could choose i don't know i'm just gonna go to the top of the you choose elise and say i want elise to be mad that she's the savant in which case elise is gonna have to pretend to be the savant until you change your mind and uh, we'll have to make up savant information no matter what role elise really is mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah so, um, and do I know my... Oh, yes, I was going to tell your evil team. So your evil team is, uh, your fellow minion is Jesse. Mm -hmm. And your demon is Beardy. Oh. Oh, Ooh, look at that spacing. Okay. Yes, indeed. So, uh -huh. um, do you know who you want to show it? Do you need a chance to think about it for a second? Or do you know what you want to do? I can come back to you in a second. Can I, no, can I pick... Mm -hmm. My, my evil team? You can, yes. Sometimes that can be uh, strategic. Yeah, is that in the in, is that in the wiki to do that? Uh, I don't know if it's in the wiki, but sometimes people do that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that kind of that's a that's an option. Also, well, yeah, that's that's a fair option. It's up to you. Sometimes that will make a person seem like they were on the good team. If they got Sarah Novus day one, then people are going to mm -hmm. assume that they're good, you know? Yeah. Yeah, what would you like to do? Um, I think I would do that. I, Can't talk about is there a character on our... Um, what is this called? Script. Grimoire? Script? Yeah. Yeah, that does the, the spacing. Like the, the, the chef? Uh, no, there's no chef. There's no, um, what's the other one? Uh, the chef does the pears, and then there's the uh, clockmaker. None of those on this one. Clockmaker, that's the one. Yeah. I have to push you, though, because i got to keep the game rolling. Okay. I, I will do um, Jesse as a librarian. Okay. I'll take okay. care of it. <laughs> Good luck, Victor Bell. All right. Have you made your choice? Uh, I'm torn because <laughs> here's my thinking I if I poison someone else then bounty hunter is going to be gunning for me to die so they're not going to be poisoned for very long if they do eventually get me killed but then if I just poison the bounty hunter then I'm just avoiding death which like it's fine if I die I'm not the demon of course, remember, though, that if you, yeah, he'll get the, uh, the next evil. Oh, he'll too. get someone else. Yeah. That might be good then. Mm. You choose what you want. I, I think that the, the bounty hunter is uh, yeah. a, usually a top tier choice. 
but yeah, I, whatever you're thinking is fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I forgot that he gets to reaping someone else after I die. Actually, I don't want that to happen. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to choose. Uh, choose Eric. 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 Okay. Henry. I'll take yeah, care of it. Eric. Uh, I also have a, another piece okay. of information for you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, the Serenobis has chosen for you to be mad that you are the librarian. Interesting. <laughs> so there's a couple of reasons why. Do uh, they know? <laughs> what's that? Okay. There's a couple of reasons. One, <laughs> uh, if you come out, if somebody else gets Sarah Minovis mad later on, then that kind of makes you mm -hmm. look good. You can be like, oh yeah, I was Sarah mad yesterday. And so people are going to think you're good because why would somebody choose an evil player to be Sarah mad? So it's one way to cover that. Also, it gives you an excuse if you were a minion that didn't have a bluff right away, you could just go with librarian and then you could come like later and say like, oh, I was mad. So there's a couple of reasons to do it. And okay. uh, Victory Bell's trying to be strategic and that seems like a pretty good choice. I like that now. Okay, That's so yeah, good. you need to be mad that you are the librarian. Although I will tell you, if you're in a private chat with other evil players like Glenn or Beardy or whatever, I'm not going to hold you to that librarian thing. So it's only when you're around okay. in public or with other good players. When you're around evil players, you're fine. So you can still go talk to Glenn. Okay, Sounds all right. Good. Are you good then? Yes. All right, we're going to get the game rolling. Uh, thanks, Jesse. Okay. Right, bye. Bye bye. Okay. We are taking this off of Jesse, and we are going to put it on who can take this. Um, oh. <laughs> I think Ryan and Jerry. <laughs> I think that's fun. Um, where is it? The Bounty Hunter. I think Ryan and Terry would be fun to put those two at odds with each other. I'm not going to do it on Ariel, though, because, oh my god. The fights that would happen. All right, so that's a fun choice, clearly. Let's keep moving around our circle. Hello. Well, hello. Uh, this is a fun ability. I feel like you were the amnesiac once before. Is that right? Oh, no, no, first nope. time. Okay. Uh, well, to go over it very briefly with you, you don't know what your ability is. Each day mm -hmm. you can come to me privately and guess what it is, and you learn how accurate you are. Um, the first thing you need to know is that you are evil. Oh, okay. You are on the evil team. There's only one way that could have happened. There is a bounty hunter in the game. Uh -huh. and the bounty hunter turns one townsfolk evil. So you are the evil amnesiac. Um, hmm. So one okay. thing I'm going to tell you a little bit outside the game is that you may want to fly under the radar a little bit this game. You may not want to openly claim to be the amnesiac. Um, you may want to kind of hedge your bets there. It's just uh, my little okay. piece of advice to you, okay? All right. Fair um, enough. Appreciate that. Yes. Now, uh, I'm going to ask you to please uh, pick an evil character. Do you mean like a type? Like one of the ones on our script here. Uh, Take a look uh, at him. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Minion or demon doesn't matter? Minion or, or demon doesn't matter. Just take a, think for a moment about what might be happening, and then think what you would like to choose. Um... How about um... there's one I'm hoping you're going to pick, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Puka, you pick. Uh, please make another selection. Okay. Um... Harpy. Okay, I'll take care of it. Good luck. All right. Okay. Looking forward to it. All right. I remember, come ask me questions during the day about your ability. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So that is not the one I wanted him to make. I wanted him to pick Evil Twin because that would have been amazing, but we might come back to that later. But um, we're going to do a Harpy Madness. Let's do it on. Let's do it on. Who is. Ooh, let's do it on Ryan Terry because that makes sense. So I'm going to tell Ryan Terry that he has to be mad that I want to say Eric, but maybe that's. that writings is evil i think that's a good shout so it's triggering on him it's not actually real so if ryan terry doesn't interact with it nothing will happen but it's triggering does that make sense it'll make sense hello, hello. the harpy has decided that you need to be mad that writings is evil 
writings is evil. All right. Good evil. All right. Good luck. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to you later. All right. All right. I'm not putting the token down because it's not really happening. Let's move on. There oh, you go. Sorry. That's all right. I actually came right back to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Of course. Yes, you start knowing that one of two players is a particular outsider, and you know that Rowan or Writings is the moon child. Rowan or Writings is the moon. But of course, Writings is evil, so it's got to be Rowan. Very clearly. Yeah. All right, good luck, my friend. The, li the, library, the library cat will provide insight. Everybody's on Team Mask tonight. Oh, yeah, 100%. Good luck. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You may Sorry, I had to finish telling everybody about a ferret thing real quick of before course. they suspected yeah. that I was coming in. You have to be careful <laughs> about the night chats when you wake up. Uh, now, please uh, choose two players. Uh, I would like to choose Ariel and Rowan. You choose Ariel and Rowan and learn that no, neither one of them is the demon. All right, excellent. This is your Thank second you. time in a row being the fortune teller. Let's see if you make it right. the game. As a Let's fortune see if teller. somebody makes me the deep. Oh, wait, not this game. <laughs> Spoilers for the other game. I have a ferret. Spoilers <laughs> for the other game. Good luck, Micah. Thank you. Hello. Oh, what up, what up? You Dark. did a good one this time. Yeah, yeah, this is a fun one. One of the thematic ones, too. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Do you have your yeah. good Han Solo voice ready to go? <laughs> don't think i have one but let's i could do baby chewbacca oh he's a bounty hunter as well well uh, i think you're going to be pleased to learn who your first bounty is oh god give it to me ryan terry <laughs> <laughs> now i gotta figure out how to feed that information to town without outing i'm the bounty hunter all right exactly. that's great good luck thanks Dave. yep it yep. will be with you mm. hello hello you are General Leia, which is perfect. I that is be... perfect. I've never been the general before. Well, the general, I think, is a deceptively uh, challenge, uh, powerful role. Because I think it's really powerful, yeah. You have to suss out why things are changing in the game. So I think if you get enough information, you can make some, you know, if somebody gets executed and suddenly good is winning when they weren't before, maybe that person who was executed was evil. You know, there's a lot of ways to interpret it. Um, so I will tell you right now, usually, uh, I think it's good for storytellers to impart this in the beginning. Uh, yeah. On a normal game, I think usually I would say good is slightly winning at this point in the game. Uh, that's kind of the average starting point. And I'm going to say that right now. I think good is slightly winning. Uh, okay. Which means that and I don't think anything super dramatic has happened that would alter that uh, in any particular way. Amazing. And just to confirm, the scale you use is like, uh, is it like five points of reference, like neutral, slightly winning, winning, you know? More or less. I might, you know, give you a few gradations. Uh, like, all right. I think that's doing pretty good. Pretty good. You know, you know, I'll, 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 I'll all right, have fun all right. with it. I don't have like a point I'm excited. System. I'm just going to, I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm going to give you, you know, what I can. All right. Thank you very much. And yeah, I think I think this role is going to be really interesting because I always see the general as like, oh, it doesn't matter if the general dies in the night, but it's so deceptively powerful. Like mm -hmm. you can solve the whole game if you just observe everything. So I think my goal is to lay low and observe mm -hmm. from as much as possible. <laughs> I think that seems like a wise plan and hopefully get some interesting shifts in the in the game state. And that'll give you something to think about. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Good luck, general. Yes, uh, Irrational DM, yes, we stream on Wednesday, so this is our Star Wars day. Last week we did our Mayday game an entire week early, um, but I had want to do this this week, and I have another plan for next week, so stay tuned for that. Let's get this game going. Oh my god, it's been forever. Long night. Hello. Hi. So, each night you get to choose two alive players, not yourself, and you learn how many woke tonight due to their abilities. So remember, this is only due to their own ability, not being woken up by, like, a minion choosing them and I had to let them know something. This is due to their own ability, so this is a good way to check bluffs. Uh, it's a good way to see, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Do you have any questions about it? I don't think so. All right. Who would you like to choose to start with? Um, Elise and Eric. Okay, you choose Elise and Eric, and you learn that two of them woke tonight due to their ability. 
Thank you. And uh, I will say, keep in mind too, uh, looking through your demons, it's always important to make sure you know which demons wake on night one if you're out demon hunting. Because uh, you'll check, like the puka does wake up on night one. You know, uh, the Al Hadikia players, well, I mean, the, uh, the little monster is not actually a player. Um, so it's a little bit different. The imp does not wake on night one, and the Al Hadikia does not wake on night one either. So, okay. Yeah, the so only that one would. Yeah, only the puka. Uh, it's a little harder to spot a little monster because they're all minions. Um, but yeah, only the puka would wake tonight. But the other nights they will. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. All right. I wish you luck. Thanks. May the force be with you. Ah. Today's video is brought to you by Hit Point Press. The deck of many animated 5e reference cards can bring even more magic to your games, and they make fantastic gifts. Get animated spell cards, condition cards, or townsfolk NPCs. You can even get in-game items like the deck of illusions and the deck of many things. Get your deck of many animated cards using the info icon in the corner or in the doohickey down below. Yeah, literally yeah. all of the a long the time dwarf. ago when a galaxy hereish, <laughs> the peaceful settlement of Goblin Shire on the remote planet of Piccolonia faces a dark awakening. This morning, the force was disturbed as the beloved storyteller, a keeper of ancient lore and wisdom, a man as handsome, and wise, and sexy as any in the galaxy, <laughs> was found slain by a sinister power. As fear and suspicion infect the hearts of you, the villagers, it becomes clear mm. that a shadow from the dark side has descended upon your quaint little village. Now you must channel your inner Jedi to unveil the malevolent force hiding amongst you in a tale where the balance of the galaxy hangs by a thread. May the force mm. guide you through these dark times. Ooh, Goblin Shire. Wow. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> I feel a disturbance in the force. I have a ferret. No. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to die. No, it's unfair. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who wants to come chat? I will. Chats. All right, let's go chat. Chats. Stressed. <laughs> Just what I eat. I am the widow. Oh, okay. Tell me everything. <laughs> okay. So, first fun fact is um, Glenn is our evil amnesiac. Oh, uh, yeah. Love that. So there's a bounty hunter in play. Great. Yes. Uh, uh, the bounty reason. hunter is Eric. I am not... I am a townsfolk. Don't know where this crazy accusation is coming from. I you just came right to me. That's weird. I did. I did. I've got you. You're given. You're given the the dark side vibes. Right. Again, I have blue hood. That's not, not blue a, hood. Blue blue what? saber. Blue saber. Mm. So. Yeah, well, what are you then? Mm -hmm. Two for two. Three for three. By just re immediately running to me and saying, "What outsider are you?" Makes me feel like you might be something that deals with that. But I am a townsfolk. I'm yeah. I'm I'm going to ping that. How Ryan could you have team. already heard of a noble ping? You literally. Here, this is what I'm telling people. This is it's a it's a plot. It's not generally. I'm trying to give information to people without revealing what I am. I've heard of a noble ping that Ryan Terry is evil. Obviously, since you're the first person I've talked to. Okay. So you're telling me the lies you're going to tell people. Absolutely. 100%. Okay, great. Can you see the information I want to seed? Because I have to pretend I'm the librarian this turn. I understand. Uh, what? Um, uh, so let's just go through the agreement. Who's a, we just, what's a lease? Okay. A lease is the general. I'm going to give you three. Okay. Uh, I will give you three in return. Fortune, Teller, Town Crier, and Savant. Uh, there you are. Fortune teller, town crier, and savant. Mm. All right, I will give you um, 
Well, this is going to end up possibly being a two for two because I'm going to give you a uh, fortune teller, savant, and amnesiac. Oh yeah. What are what are you then if you're not an outsider? Um, I'm either the gossip, the balloonist, or the town crier. Gossip, balloonist, or town crier. All right. So I'm going to write down Alpidikia, and we'll go from there. You know, you can't will it into existence. I am not evil this game. You cannot will it. I can't, but can Theo? I mean, if he put a mez on the script, yes, he could have. <laughs> Is this a, these and are I the would, outsiders you're looking would. for a moment? Yeah. yeah. All right. He, I'm getting lots of accusations, and I don't care for it. Did give me a couple there, and Glenn seems uncomfortable. <laughs> so I've, <laughs> I've put him down as the amnesiac, but I, I didn't get, get any claim. <laughs> That's far for the course. That's far for the course. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Theo, can you stick around? I'm going to uh, have a chat with you if possible. I'll see you later. Um, I'm here to bluff Savant, just in case Helzer is a Savant. Ooh, May as well that. just stick around a little bit. Are you um, but with nobody. Information? Uh, I will. No, I'm just going to pretend that I will keep it to myself. Um, well, no, I'll do the thing where I publicly claim that I've told somebody in secret and that I haven't told anyone. I like that. I like that. All right. See you later. Thank you. Good luck. I'm down okay. for twos, threes, whatever. Not so whatever much into hard claims yet. I'm I'm actually free to to, to note. I can I just can just denote what I am in general. Like, oh, okay. I, I'm a, I'm a first night info role, so. Oh. Um, I'm not. I'm not a proponent of keeping that in. I think that's something that should go out to town anyway. So, I'm a. I'm the librarian. Okay. I am what the. Mean? Librarian. Oh, I was that last game. Okay, okay, okay. So who who do you know the things about? Uh, it's between uh, Rowan or Writings. Thank you for the okay. follow there. So you're going to sacrifice yourself today? Yeah, hundred percent. Just in case that there's I don't, um, some some means. I don't think that there's actually a resurrection means on the script. Uh, so who knows? Um, yeah. But that is where I'm at. And yeah, let me know if you want to share any information on your side, but completely fine if you're not comfortable. Protection role. You might want to uh, ask if something to do with protection, which would often activate on night two, um, okay. like a monk or a keeper or something. Um, and if you don't wake tomorrow night, then... Uh, you have probably have a passive ability and try looking uh, down down that route. Mm. Okay, interesting. Yeah, my first uh, so first time in this role. Keep uh, Victory Bell and Jesse. They're the they're the other um, evils. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Um, welcome to the team. <laughs> well, thanks. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how this uh, goes. Should yeah, be cool. around. Script. Yeah. Do you want me to look around, Glenn? Uh, sure. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Do you know your question yet, or do you need more time? Um, can I ask something very general? Like, yeah. Uh, oftentimes it's good to start general and then kind of work your way to more specific. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to give you like a hot, cold kind of answer. Yeah. Okay. So does my ability have to do with protection? Cold. Okay. Okay. All right. Good luck. Try it tomorrow. Stay alive. Bye. <laughs> all right so i'm either the gossip the balloonist or the town crier the gossip the balloonist or the town crier all right let's chat to everyone i am oh gosh two people are oh hold on let me do this hello. one it's more important hello yes hello i meant to come to you in the night and i made a mistake so thank you to irrational dm for reminding me oh uh, i have something to tell you yes um, there is a widow in play. Oh. So if you look at the widow ability, uh, one good player knows a widow is in play. So uh, I am here to tell you, and I meant to come last night, that a widow is in play. Okay. On your first night, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. So that's your information. And I'm the only one that knows that. You're the only one I'm telling. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So one good player learns that. Okay, cool. All Thanks. Right, good luck. Thank you, Rational DM. Uh, that one slipped by me there. Uh, 
means we have to tell each other the truth, right? Maybe. I well, don't you know go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you're gonna do. Well, to be fair, you know. I I do I do I almost want to instately trust you because you came <laughs> to play on a script about Star Wars and then went, I I've never seen Star Wars. I've never seen Star Wars. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? That takes a level of bravery. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. Exactly. My role is quite fitting of my character, I will say. I've been told. Oh, yeah? Okay, and cool. You might be able to uh, <laughs> induce what that means. Not that I can confirm it or not, but... Um... I mean, it gives, it gives me a couple ideas. Just okay. immediately. All right. For okay, so we already have a double claim then. Jesse yes, and Ryan Jesse both... and Ryan already said he's cool to die as the librarian. So I don't know what Jesse told you, but... Jesse told me that either me or Micah were drunk. Okay. You here, babe? <laughs> oh, so what role are you? You got to give me something. No, 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 no. I'll tell you tomorrow. Yeah. I need no, at least no, no, one no, no, night no, of freedom. No, 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 no. Oh, you came God. to me. I did not come into your space uh, offering information. Uh, <laughs> you came to me, and I will come to you when oh, I'm ready. That's from goodwill. Okay, okay, okay. Take your time. Take your time. Thank All right, you. but that's the information I have. Just put All it right. together. Interesting roles, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's well, if you a... were the moon child and you did die, don't choose me, please, because I will die. <clears throat> I don't want to die at this point. You do point. want me or don't want me? No, don't. I don't want to die at this point. I want to go. Go for it. Go for or it. I can I can really have a growing and Rowan told me that they're the balloons. I'm the balloons. Uh, I'm taking balloon at least. Okay, you can do that. You can do that to get um, information. Um, okay. Well, I, well, I can I, just turn it around on Rowan and say, "Hey, you lied to me." Uh, uh, so, yeah. anyway, I, I don't know. It. We'll we'll just figure it out. I, here we Sounds go. Good. Thank you, Glenn. Okay. All right. Ryan, see you, Ryan. Ryan. If you have a light to turn on in your room, it might help us see you a little better. I, I will be doing so once he jumps. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, I had a lot of people dash off to talk to other people who were more important than me. Oh. No. <coughs> oh, we got out of that chair right on time. Wait, two dongs? I, they were so close together, I though. I heard an echo. Oh, one second. Oh. Hello. Hey, I, I did put Savant as one of my bluffs, so I'm just pretending in case anyone wants to take that seriously um, to learn some things that I'm not really learning. That Thank seems you. fair. Are you going to actually come up with Savant information, or are you just going to wing it? Just wing it. All right. I don't. I, I yeah. I, I want people to think I'm the fortune teller, really. But yeah. Fair. All right. So well, I might end up yeah. time to give it to you. Yeah. Right. Couple balloonists. Yeah. Well, yeah, any money get what are we widow? talking about? Double claims? Have we got I've, double I've, claims? I've, I found it weird that we, I had I heard two librarians. Yeah, I heard yes. the name. There are two librarians. I am librarian one of the librarians. <laughs> <laughs> I am the librarian, so the other one's a lie. Right. Richard Bell's got that hand Richard Bell, you have something you want to say? That's interesting oh, I heard a rumor. Yes, uh, we'll um, open up for gossips here. Oh uh, we can God. do it real fast. I even know there's a gossip. If you like to gossip. Then please raise your hand. We'll start with Victory Bell. Mm, I heard a rumor um, that the demon is on the left side. Okay, so meaning Rowan. Uh, let's do. Uh, yeah, it, it's twelve o'clock at six o'clock. So yeah. Rowan to at least inclusive. Inclusive. Sure. All right, got it. Micah draws. Uh, I heard a rumor that there is a drunk on in play. All right, got mm. it. Eric. I heard a rumor that Ryan Terry is evil. Ooh, got it. <laughs> Elise. Um, I heard a rumor that the Serenovus chose librarian. Got it. <laughs> uh, Beardy. Uh, I heard a rumor that there's a little monster running around the place. Got it. <laughs> Writings. Is there, wait, oh, there is a little monster there. I thought you were just... <laughs> <laughs> I would like to gossip that either Helza or Glenn are currently the demon. Helza or Glenn, right? Yes, currently. Got it. 
which can make mm. a difference when a, a little moss doesn't play. Or an empathy. Oh. Jesse. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Mm. I heard a rumor that there are some good and evil twins out there. Okay, oh. yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right. I will let you talk publicly for a minute, then I'll open nominations. Yeah. Did anybody get a uh, widow ping? Yeah, has anyone heard of a widow? Mm, no. no. How no, about first so night info? Oh, I only no. got a Theranovus and an evil twin. I, I do have for, I do have first night info. I'm first night info. Same. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I'm I, I I've, I've told this to a couple folks. I'm the librarian, uh, and I got okay. to um, I'm not going to out precisely which outsider sets. I, I I don't think it's. For most of the outsider roles, I think it's the, these are a little bit more like be careful roles of, uh, at least in in the sense of, um, not necessarily wanting uh, to give away potential disruption. Uh, well, so, but there's no Godfather. There's no Godfather. Those the, the no characters, fun. the players. I'm, I'm just gonna pick. I'm just gonna pick one. The barber is not one that you want the uh, the demon to know if it's around and with. You. Oh, hundred okay. yeah. percent. By way of, for instance. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if there's no widow called that no one's heard a widow, then we. Well, yeah, if no one's heard a widow, keep that information private. So the evil team won't know. Yeah. To be Unless fair, widow a widow could self poison. A widow self poison widow is. It is it's a bold move to self poison. Um, it does, does pay off sometimes. I, I have a yeah. question. Does the widow's poison permanent? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. And, okay. Well, what, so if you kill yeah. the widow, then it goes away because they don't have the ability. Okay. No, but but as long as the widow's alive, it, it's they're always poisoned. The target is always poisoned. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like but we would have heard are... of a widow yeah, if someone would have chosen to be. it. Yeah, unless yeah. they self-poisoned. One good. Oh, well, so it's either, in that case, it's Eric writings. I, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to talk to both of my pings yet. I've spoken to one of them, and uh, unless, the, unless we pick themselves, if, if, if I was a no reason widow, to, I would not have any. Call. There wouldn't be any double claims. I'm getting good vibes, very good vibes off um, Ariel and Rowan so far, and I haven't even spoke to Ariel. But she's very good there to me. So. <laughs> I, I would like to talk through these two librarian claims. So there's a couple of reasons why this could be happening, right? There's also madness on the script. Yeah. So you like Sarah Sarah Nova's Nova's possibility. Too mad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think you should either actually. one. Well, either one of the librarian claims is a reasonable claim because it's a first night role, and they don't get any more information past the first night. I think yeah. if you're looking for a blind shot in the dark, you go for either one of them. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind dying. If if uh, that that said, I I think it's probably uh, better to use the kill out outside of me. But I, I have absolute. I won't fight being nominated very hard uh, at Second all. Second call. I, I, I'm, all right. I'm a, I'm, a pro, I'm a famous proponent. At least nominates Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. At least continue your thought, Ryan. Um, my my accusation is is just let's do this also, Town Cryer. Oh, it looks different. Yeah. Oh. Town Crier is a reason, and Town Crier is a reasonable set. There's potential. I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally fine. Um, like going up on this, I think you should make it beatable. I think there's maybe a better kill on the on set that I'll go into here in a second. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, all that being said, at least anything you want to add? Nope. All right, running the votes. Six. Be put on the board. I reckon let's get just enough. Everyone show up here? Yeah, six. yeah six. This yeah, is okay. very helpful. Oh, there's no flower girl. Oh. That would have been helpful no. for a flower girl keeping track. I have, do that on the Final Fantasy been. Seven script, right? <laughs> six is just enough. Yeah, this Ryan's is right. On the block. Uh, I nominate writings. Ryan Terry nominates writings. Oh, Tell us why. Writings makes a good evil person. <laughs> uh, <laughs> has nothing to do with your <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what? My neighbors are fighting. I don't. I don't want to cut of his jib. Uh, Show us your lightsaber. Yeah, I'm, I don't bet. He's got, the, he's got the dark hood. Um, you blue. stole it from someone. No. Um, I just in, I just kind of got a uh, a bad social read off writings during our uh, initial discussions. Is the main reason on this? I'm. I don't, yeah, that's that's my. 
that's my thought. I, I don't think that there's a. I, I don't think that he's he's on the level. All right, ridings, defense. I'm good. He's good. There we go. Six to tie, seven to X. Oh, wait, you're you're good. <laughs> As ridings is one of the few people I actually hard claim to. I kind of want to believe ridings is good for my own sanity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I thought you meant like your 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 debate was good. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Four's not enough. <laughs> Uh, Micah nominates Jesse. Micah nominates Jesse. Tell us why. Uh, no reason. I just, if there's a town crier, I want to prove that I'm not a minion. Mm. <laughs> Jesse, that was a strong accusation. How do you defend yourself against it? Um, so I'm the other librarian. I'll say my pings were Micah and Eric is the drunk, <coughs> which I told them they know. I have, yeah, I have no reason to actually. This yeah, is a. This killed. is a. I just, as the as the actual librarian, this is a much better uh, kill. Hey, I'm the librarian. <laughs> These are not the librarians you're right. looking for. <laughs> either, either, either way, she should be, uh, or they should be very happy. They should be very happy to potentially die if they're actually the librarian. So Ryan, did you yeah, know that? I don't die, but I don't like that. Do your pings just like you so? Huh? Me and Micah. It was me and Micah. Uh, Eric and Micah. As the drama. Ryan, okay, they, Eric, they can't tell us what they really are. The Ryan, library. at the time you nominated writings, did you know Jesse was claiming librarian? Mm -mm. And Jesse, you didn't say anything publicly about that? No, I thought yeah, I did. I thought she they did. did. I yeah. heard them say it. If, 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 they did, I, if, they didn't, if they did, I didn't hear it. Explicitly before Ryan nominated yeah. writings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It might have not. Well, okay. they did, and I just didn't hear it properly. As soon as, soon as Ryan, yeah. Ryan said it, before. then Jesse said it also. Yeah. Okay. It must have been right after, and I did. No, I think it was right when someone said, that, hey, there are two librarians. And Ryan Terry is executed and dies. Good night, everybody. All right, welcome back. This hood is making things difficult. Right. All right, so now that our bounty hunter has gotten rid of their first bounty, it's time to assign a new one. So who should it be? We'll come back to that in a second. Don't let me forget that. We're going to come back to this. Let's see how the rest of this night goes. Let's... And thank you for the follow there, Jusol. I appreciate that. Joy, Joyce all? Ah, thank you. All right. Well, let's go through our evening, shall we? Let's see. Where do we start? We start with our Serenovus, who almost got his fellow minion killed. Almost got their fellow minion killed. Yeah, right. I like the, I like the vet. Well, hello. Hello. That was a, a tough gamble. I think that could have gone... I know, I know. Okay, I won't do that ever again if I'm the Serenopus. No, I mean, I think that you <laughs> might have given, um, especially if you pass it on to somebody else now, I think that gives uh, I gives, uh, gives Jesse a little bit of cover, you know, a little bit of authenticity. But who would you like to choose tonight? Um, I heard a little bit of the memoir, and... Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna choose. How long does their madness last? Yeah, so they are mad that they're the character tomorrow. So during the day tomorrow. What if they die? Hmm. What if they die? If they're executed or something? No. What if they were killed? Oh, die overnight? Then uh -huh. they're still under madness. Yeah. Yeah, they're still under madness, and they can still be executed tomorrow, and it'll still end the day. I'm gonna do a gamble, okay. uh, cause the demon told me to target Helza or Ariel. I think, okay. if I recall. But I'm actually gonna do Rowan, who told me that they were the balloonists. But from the grimoire, I know that there's no balloonists. You're a little quiet, Victor Bell. Can you say that again? Uh, I'm gonna choose Rowan to be the balloonist. Okay. That's what they lied to me about. Okay. Keep up that lie. Okay, Rowan as a balloonist. I'll take care of it. Hello. Howdy, Theo. Oh, I just noticed the lips. That's amazing. 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, I am here to tell you that the Sarah Novus has decided that you need to be mad that you're the balloonist. Excellent. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this because I was like pretending to be the balloonist anyway. Oh, well, that'll and play even, right into your plan. And even hard. Exactly. All right. This is going to be excellent. Thank good. you. Yes, good luck. One of these days. Hello. Yeah, I was in a very good discussion about the Asian currency. <laughs> you got to be careful to um, chat in the night when you get pulled away. Yeah. Though. But, uh, <laughs> please choose an evil character. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh, I am going to choose, because I know there's one in play, I will choose the Widow. Okay, I'll take care of it. Okay. Good luck. Bye. One of the less fun ones, I'm hoping that Evil Twin would trigger. But that just means that I'm going to give somebody else the Widow Ping, which probably not good for the Evil Team, actually. Um, I think I'll give it to Helza this time. Let's bring Helza into the game a little bit more. Hello, Helza. Hello. I'm here to tell you that there is a Widow in play. Oh, interesting. Um, that's amazing, thank you. Yes, and I'll, I'll also add that there has not been a mistake I mean, made. Does that mean I'm dead and I'll be poisoned, or does it mean just that there's a random... So the yeah. Widow says that one good player knows a Widow is in play. Yeah, and So okay. typically, I will say, typically that happens on night one. Um, yeah. But you're being awoken now to learn that a widow is in play. So okay. I'll let you try to figure out why that might happen. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it can also mean that the person who did know the widow was in play is now evil. But I'm not, you know, that could be a weird amnesiac thing. So we'll see what Helza makes of that. All right, moving on. Hello, Beardy. Hello, Theo. Who is your first choice? Uh, tonight, <sighs> Micah. Micah, all right. Thank you. Don't fall to the dark side too much. <laughs> Good luck, Beardy. Thank you. Who are we going to show to our bounty hunter? Um, tempted to show Rowan. Well done, bounty hunter. Hello, Dorothea. <laughs> <laughs> How's your bounty hunting going so far? I feel like I'm getting led down the dark path of the force here. I think I'm being manipulated. <laughs> it's going okay so far. Yeah. I feel that uh, a double claimed librarian with a bounty hunter being is a fair read, uh, fair nomination on night one, even if I'm drunk or not. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well, your second bounty is for Rowan. Rowan. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Good, Good luck, bounty hunter. Anything else? Oh, our general. Uh, I'm still going to say good is slightly winning, I believe. I don't think anything too dramatic has happened. Uh, we executed a useless townsfolk. Useless, strong term. Uh, it doesn't serve any purpose anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything else has really changed. Our amnesiac is not any closer to figuring out his ability. Um, yes, our bounty hunter is widow poisoned. Well, hello, Jen. Hello. <laughs> I'm making a strawberry hat for a charm oh, out of clay. Thank you. I, anyway, I hello. How, how, how can I how can I help you? Let me let me survey the records. How's the state of our galaxy? General, I'm here to give you a status report. Uh, things remain unchanged. Unchanged. The rebels are still slightly winning. The rebels are hmm. the good team. The good team. Okay, hmm. good to know. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't um, seen Star Wars. The rebels are the good guys, and the 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 Sith lords. The yeah, the all that. that's good that's to know yeah. i'm wondering i'm gonna think out loud for a second because yeah, i am wondering if perhaps ryan was serenovus mad and but maybe wasn't a role that minded dying or maybe was oh i don't know i, I think i'm gonna try and decipher that nothing oh okay all right thank you it's a good mystery to solve i wish you luck hello hi who would you like to choose this evening Eric and Jesse. You look at Eric and you look at Jesse and one of them woke due to their ability. Okay. I have a question. Yes. If hypothetically, if Eric was a drunk bounty hunter and got incorrect information that Ryan was evil, 
if Ryan were to die, would you still go through the motions as if he was a sober bounty hunter? Yes. Yeah. Pretty much any drunk character goes through the motions. So okay. Otherwise, they know they're drunk. Um, right. So, yeah. Okay. Um, second question. Am I supposed to tell people that there's a widow? <laughs> Um, it's up to I you. Know. I think I don't know. Most of the time, people do. So people know it's out there, but it's entirely up to you what you want to do. Okay, I'm all I'm scared that I, I I'll say it out loud and they'll be like, "Why'd you say I, that?" I okay. know. Yeah. So, okay. But typically, it's nothing. Yeah. Typically, it's it's fair to go ahead and announce it, and I think it's fine to say you know like, "Oh, I learned yesterday," but I wasn't sure if okay. I say anything. It's fine. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck. Two widow pings tomorrow, which is going to be even more interesting. Maybe the widow was not a bad shout. By Glenn. All right, I think that's everybody for the night. <laughs> Good morning, Goblin Shire. Good morning. Thrown into the Sarlacc pit and digested over a thousand years like a really tasty piece of chewing gum. It's Micah Draws. Knew it. Oh. That's unfortunate. Uh, Micah, can we have a chat or are you gonna share something with we... No, we can we can go. Oh yeah. also I was I was Sarah Novus. Neither neither of you are maybe the drunk. I mean maybe I you still it. are. But my that was wrong. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me. Damn it, Jesse. That makes sense. Oh, oh, oh! I have something to say as well too. After Helzo. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hang on, I'm hang on. On, Eric. Wait. What are you saying? What did you have to say? Oh, me. I have there's to say a widow. Was... Yeah. I there's there's a, a widow. widow. I learned yesterday, but I didn't know if that was like a cool thing to say to everybody what? or not. Why didn't you say that? What? Oh, that's mm, that's. I, I, no, I, I learned about it, and I was scared that if I Wait. said it, that that would be bad to say. I don't know what's good and bad okay, to reveal. Helza, I've never played with a widow. widow. And Helza, what did you want to? Widow. Ask? Give it to Helza first. Yeah, I, I got woken last night and told there is a widow in play. Why is that? No, I can't. Wait a minute, Please Ariel. You were Ariel. You were saying you were told night one that there was a widow, and Hell's is saying night two they heard of the widow. Is yeah. that accurate? Yeah. That still in my mind. No, in, in no, that sounds like a that sounds like a that sounds weird like amnesiac. a baba or a baba. If the because if they swap the if a bar, but neither of them dead oh. people from bar, but if no, they swap because... and it's a new instance, if the widow swaps to a new player, yeah. then it's a new Ooh. instance and they get to see the but no one's claiming barber. So it could be okay. an amnesiac ability. Uh because the widow ping shouldn't go out twice. Weird. Yeah, it should only go out once. Shenanigans. Wow. Although Ariel, I'm not sure if I trust that you came at day two with it. <laughs> Well, I really, you want to get back. You'll see. I didn't know. Hey, uh, something else. I don't know if, uh, in, in regards to weird, um, in regards to weird pings for minions and things of that nature, the reason I went after writings was uh, I was made harpy mad about that. Um, so that's all three minions then? All three yeah. minions have been claimed? I haven't well, heard of there was a Sarah Novus, a widow, and a harpy. Yes. Right? Oh, oh, I haven't heard of twins. So it's three. You a harpy? So someone said they were twins. Yeah, I was. I was definitely given a harpy ping. There might be a weird amnesiac thing going on. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I was definitely given a. Uh, um, <laughs> I was definitely given a harpy mad thing. Okay, so my my brain goes three different routes. Either weird amni because amnis could do things. Because it's weird that Ariel and Helza would get um, double pings back to back. Double ping. Cor we Correct. would have, we could have a little monster, and that would give us three yep. minions because traditionally we should only have two minions in this game. We'd Correct. Two minion, one Ooh. demon. So we could have a little monster, or yep. someone between this Ariel, Helza, Ryan, and Jesse is lying about a minion. Wouldn't there be four yeah. minions? No, no. There's if a little monster, it'll be three because the demon becomes a minion, and we should have two minions. Wait, the so demons are okay. that, that would be there can be two widow things happening. 
the only way that can happen is a new instance of a widow, so a barber swap, but neither of the dead is claiming barber as far as I know. Or it's got to be an amnesiac if there's if the two widow pings are true. Yeah. But doesn't the amnesiac have to like go and ask about their power and stuff? They, they might not. Yeah. It, it could be passive. They could choose not to do anything. Like they don't have to know what it does. Yeah. They still and the should storyteller guess, could just do things. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a passive uh, ability. Oh, like maybe someone's picking us and we. Hello. Hey, what you doing? I am observing from the dark. Yeah, you're making lots of notes. I, I'm talking to chat. <laughs> oh, are you? Sorry, okay. I'm making a lot of typing noises. I'll be careful. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just seeing you looking down. But I'm going to chat with you so I can at least maybe um, for a bit what to, gauss, to bluff any of the um, talking to the each day you talk to the storyteller. Do you have a, a particular bluff? I should probably make note of it. What's your main bluff? I was going to go with Savant. But that became kind of difficult because I didn't really... I mean, maybe no one noticed what I was doing So Savant yesterday. is a little hard, but I don't know if people are paying that much attention. But it's up to you. Yeah. You can say that okay. you talk to me. Okay. Do you, uh, Just make sure you have good Savant information if you want to run it by me. So see if it sounds like what I would say. You're welcome to do that. But they're going to ask you at some point what your Savant information is. So you have to be ready with it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. All right. And don't, rem don't forget that also the Savant does wake on the first day. On the first yeah. night, so make sure you have the right amount of information. Wait, wakes up on the first night? Yeah, so the savant would have information from night one and night two already. So there'd be two sets of oh, savant okay. information. Uh, well, you get it during the day, actually. So yeah, you would the, the yeah, second yeah. day. So you would have two days of sorry, that's what I meant. You'd have two days of savant information. Okay. All so, right. All right. Good luck. What a mistake. That feels sorry. Like yeah. Something has had to have happened yeah. for that to occur. I wasn't trying to like. If also, we believe, if anyone was this year, I was Sarah Novist. I forget who left. But We've heard of ping of all three. You were Sarah Novist to about librarian. I was. I was Sarah Novist to librarian. What are I'm you? So sorry. <laughs> what are you actually? Um, I'll share it again when. I, oh, everyone's here. Okay. Oh no, writing's is here. Okay. <laughs> So I was Sarah Novus's librarian. I am actually the noble. Uh, people left again. <laughs> I, I'm back. Okay. Well, well no, Elise and Eric are gone. I already told Elise, uh, but um, I'm the noble, and my pings were Elise, Eric, and Micah. Ooh, I'm okay. not really getting evil from any of them, though, and Micah's dead. I so. have good reason to believe that I was uh, widow sniped. Just saying oh, okay. I was picked oh, because... Like the widow knows like who I am. Poisoned? No, the well, widow sees the grim first night. Yeah. The widow told the demon to kill me first. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh it's very okay. unlikely what you'd be the. It'd be very yeah. unlikely you were poisoned if they were going to kill you first. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I, I'm not the poison target. I was somebody the widow told the demon to kill first because yeah. of my right. Yeah. Also, what are you then? They, uh, I'm not going to say yet. Okay. Well, if, if there, it's worth noting, if we have any reason whatsoever to believe that there's a widow, holding back what your role is only helps evil, not good. Because evil knows everybody's role if there's a widow in play. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, so that's that's true. True. All right. Okay. Widow, we've got two. Well, I'll, I'll... We should probably tell everyone what we are. They'll add it when they feel like it. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything else at this time. All right, uh, thank you. But Beardy is... I thought... Okay, because I thought Beardy was the one that saw the Grim. Are you saying you did? I saw the Grim. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, he he he, he characterized. It. I thought it was him, but okay. All right. So I just want to make sure we're on the same team here. Kind of. Glenn, don't forget to ask your question mm -hmm. if you want to. Oh, yeah, uh, what have you been yeah, doing so far? I wanted to know. Well, yeah, I'll have to do it privately. Yeah. I okay. can't be here. Bye, bye, Jesse. See you. Bye. Um. So I hope yep. you've been paying attention. Yeah, uh, I have been. Okay. Um, so, am I picking an evil person who is poisoned, then, or drunk? Say that again. Uh, my my the choice that I make each night is it making that person evil or dr oh, sorry, uh, drunk or poisoned. Uh, you are cold. Um, okay. Keep in mind that your ability is going to be useful for the evil team because you're an evil player. 
Yeah. So poisoning an evil player wouldn't be a good figure. Okay, but it was not a protection roll. So, okay. Um, here we go. Okay, I'll have to think about it. Bye-bye. Bad that you're the character. But it doesn't actually give you any abilities. No, and it's... Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't. I'm just you can't make someone mad about seeing a widow. <coughs> okay. Yeah. I'm 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 a big fan of of everyone kind of sharing what it, what they can of their role. Um, I agree. I made it back before the, the bomb. <laughs> you did. I didn't, <laughs> it you didn't get double donged, Micah. If there's if there's yeah, widow, not tonight anyway. We're we're just, we're just hurting town by holding back. All um, right. I, 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 before we start, I, I'm going to open things up for gossips, and then I will allow you to do your public chats. So raise your hand if you like to gossip. And I will do that, like and then to. I will do public chats. So, Jesse. Um, I'm going to gossip. There's a Sarah Novus. Gotcha. Victory Bell. Um, I'm going to gossip. But there is no gossip. Okay. <laughs> uh, Aaron, you didn't hear you. You're muted. Sorry about that. I'm going to gossip that the demon is a little monster. All right. Writings. Uh, I'm going to gossip the demon is between Jesse and Helsa inclusive uh, on the downward cir- cycle of the circle. Understood. All right, you're uh, welcome to make more of the gossips. I'll let you talk publicly for a minute or two, and then I'll open nominations. Okay, I. Oh, Eric, is your hand up for talk? Yeah, I was just wanted. To, I didn't hear anything that Jesse would have said publicly. Obviously, Jesse uh, claimed they were Sarah Novus. I wanted to know if there was anything that came from that. Um, I'm actually the noble, and my readings were you, Elise, and Micah. Elise. Mike is okay. dead, and I don't. I I'm more inclined to believe Elise because I don't know anything about you, but okay. I'm also not getting an evil read from you, so I don't know. I was the fortune teller. Uh, first night, I did Ariel and Rowan and got no. But if there's a little monster, that means absolutely nothing now. Mm. <laughs> um. If but, it's a little monster, then the evil team is picking the kills anyway. Well, true. I yeah. I, I believe I believe that the widow. Hmm. Actually, saw... I think you die, I think you dying first night, Micah, if... is actually very strong evidence against the little monster. I agree. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Was, that's the what widow I was going to say. Saw me, saw the grim, and decided the fortune teller. Hey, hang on first. Yeah, which I don't see see of making that move. I'd like to interject here. So I could see that the you know, killing the fortune teller to hide it, in fact, to make it seem like a pucket game. I'd like to throw that possibility. Like if I was the storyteller and I wanted to mask whether or not it's a pucket game, I'd kill the fortune teller first night to make people think it was a pucket game and then make the fortune teller doubt their information night but one. But they can't have died the first <laughs> night if it was a pucket game, right? They, they no, were no, no. dying on the no. second night. But I think I think that I, I think it would be <coughs> early. I don't believe that Theo would probably kill Fortune Teller Night 1 on a little monster game just full stop. I, I, if, if Fortune Teller is dying that early, I'm, I'm of the opinion it is either a Pucka snipe or a an imp. Uh, yeah, a Pucka or an imp is actually... Yeah. Keep in mind there's a Pucka in the middle of We're going to give it to Helza, uh, then Eric, then Elise, and then open nominations. Helza. Um, well, I just think uh, I agree with uh, Ryan. I can't see any reason why... We shouldn't go around and tell everyone what our roles are if because there's a widow and they will have seen the script. So I'm the Raven Keeper. No, I was no. trying to uh, double swap roles with uh, well, Mike. Yeah, we were going to do a should, should, swap should. Bruce. Let's give it to Eric. Uh, I would like to. So I have two people, Ariel and Helts, are both claiming that they got Widow Pings. Ariel's claiming that Widow Pinged was night one. Uh, Helts is claiming that Widow got a Widow notification on night two. Uh, I'm not sure. Did we resolve how that may have happened? Because I'm looking at the script and I can see a, not very Barbara many ways. Is there anything <laughs> I can think of? Oh, I, I would like to say that those of you who know me know I couldn't have made that up. <laughs> Because I just think that. All right, with that. Yeah, and now they're saying that they're Raven Keeper. Um, I I think this is important to out 
because if there is a widow, but either, even if there's not, I am in a noble ping. So um, I am the general and both days have been slightly good. So the librarian dying in the day and the fortune teller dying at night, I'm unsure if slightly good would be given there, but um, yeah, that's, that's my information. Writings. Um, if we think it's potentially a little monster game because of three minions, we've had th three players, technically four, but with, we count the, the two widow claim that gives us three minions. Uh, that would be a little monster world. My, my big concern is I'm curious if, and I'm not asking anyone to out cause I don't know if I believe all the various claims. Has anyone heard about a bounty hunter? Cause if we have a bounty hunter, that also means there'd be a fourth person evil, and that could be someone trying to promote a world where there is a little monster. Yeah. Right. I have heard of I have heard. one in a three. Yeah, I've heard of a bounty hunter in a three. Nominations mm -hmm. are open. No one townsfolk is evil with a bounty hunter. Does the townsfolk know they're evil? Yes. 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 Okay. They don't know anything about <laughs> Eric the evil knows. team or anything He's evil. like that. <laughs> but if the bounty, yeah. So Elise nominates nom Eric. <laughs> Elise nominates Eric. Elise, tell us why. I'm sorry, Eric. I just think you're evil. <laughs> Out of um, someone who's already dead in the other noble ping and me, who I know that I'm a good character, uh, one of us has to be evil. And yeah, I've also heard um, a hard claim of the role that you were claiming to me elsewhere. I'm also I'm I'm uh, I'm pretty suspicious on on a, on a noble ping as well. Just because in in a world where there's a in a world where there's a potential uh, where there's a potential widow, a noble is a great widow bluff to well, go Brian, out. Let me give it to Eric. We'll let the kind of other comments happen after the defense. Sorry, fair enough. Yeah, Eric. Uh, okay, so in my defense, if you want to run this, this is fine. I got information I can share after I'm dead anyway. Uh, I think if I was the Widow, I would 100% snipe the Noble because it's a powerful role that you just kill out right, right off the bat. Of the Noble Pings, Micah, mm -hmm. Elise, and Eric, I've talked to Elise and uh, Micah. I've talked to both the Noble Pings. I'm not currently getting an evil vibe from either one of them. I <laughs> yeah, I talk to myself too. Yes, I do talk to myself too. That is very fair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the evil one. You caught me. <laughs> no, I'm a. I'm getting town vibes from both Elisa and Micah. So I'm currently uh, working on the suspicion that the nobles poisoned. Uh, we have possibly a farmer in play because of that weird widow ping. Assuming Ariel and uh, Hells are both being yeah. truthful about their roles. It'd be a very unusual uh, barber play. That would mean Brian Terry was the barber, right? That's. Or Micah. Or but, Micah, yeah. but I thought then neither one of them slamming Barber. Let's keep it on no, the yeah. Barber. Eric, anything Sorry. in your defense in particular? No, go ahead and run it. All right. I can spell my information after I'm dead. Just want to make sure the game is coming along. <laughs> yes, sir. I am paying very much attention to How many? Five? Yeah. Okay. Uh, five to put on the block. <laughs> five is enough. All right, screw it. Since I'm on the block, I'll go ahead and nominate. Eric nominates Rowan. Eric nominates Rowan. Eric, tell us why. Uh, because I'm the bounty hunter. And since I'm going to be in the block anyway, <laughs> this is possibly my last nomination. The first <laughs> bounty hunter ping was Ryan Terry. The second bounty hunter ping is Rowan. Ooh. I wanted to see how that vote was run. Because seeing mm. Glenn, Elise, Beardy, Jesse, Victor, and Rowan vote for this, I think was right. Is that right, Eric, everybody? Eric, I think yeah. you might be poisoned. Yeah, I think I think I think Aaron. I, I, I understand. I understand that's a possibility. But if there's a I widow see, game, yeah. the, hang on. Don't if there's a widow it. game, if there's a widow game, it can't be both me and Jesse poisoned, and there being a Saranovis in play, right? Only one of us is going to be poisoned. Okay. I I if I was the me, I would poison. poison. I I will. Yeah. S oh. Okay. Let's go to Rowan first. Rowan. Uh, that's bullshit. I'm not evil. Um, <laughs> it makes me sus. I'm the balloonist and I've gotten, uh, some names. I don't really feel like trading them now because even though there's a widow or whatever, there's the widow can't know what my names are. Well, they can, I guess. No, they're, they're not no they can. They can. No, they can't. 
Oh, no, no, they they see the oh, sorry, that's a double yes, claim. Because there are tokens that you can add to let people to remind the, the widow the storyteller only sees, who they the widow see. Only, the widow only sees the grim the first night of game. The spy sees it every night, so the widow would not get any. Oh, you're other right. Token. Thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, they don't know who I've seen, so I'd kind of like to keep yeah, that to myself. All right, five. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Balloonist is uh, a double claim. Then we should vote for this. Yeah. Maybe my bounty hunter ping isn't poison. I will say one? Eric gave well, me that same info yesterday when I talked to him. I, I think so. this is no. I think this is a very bad, very very bad kill. I shouldn't want to tie it. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. Um, no. Oh, I'd also Eric. like to point out that I had my hand up for Eric, but I put it down. I didn't actually vote for him. When I see right. that there's enough to get someone on the block, I usually will put my hand down. I'm Ryan, like Ryan, would there. you like to have an accusation towards Jesse? Not, uh, to, yeah. So my, I, I'm actually of the opinion in Eric, a, a way to kind of make the world work in terms of maybe you're poisoned, because remember the widow also has to be in the town somewhere i'm suggesting potentially jesse could be bluffing noble and noting and noting to although they did know that they were serenovas mad which makes that a little bit less but they the serenovas could have done uh did, done someone on the evil team if or they that might. could be a lie it also could have been a lie so uh, u- ulti- ultimately um i think jesse maybe noting uh noble off but i'm definitely not evil and i can tell you if rowan if if rowan dies uh there's also a possibility um it may not be good for town eric then i'm going to say that it's impossible for me and jesse to be put a poison the first night so you know that that poisoning is off the block for both of us because we're both alive the bucket would have killed hang on hang on so i do think the poisoning was on one of us i agree with that i think that it's possible it's jesse in which case my information ryan terry was evil uh, if the information is on, if you think I'm the poison one, then you would have to think Elise was evil. So I think if you want why, to believe why, I'm poison, why, why does that follow, Eric? Final call for nominations. Uh, writings will nominate Jesse. Writings. Tell us why. <laughs> uh, I believe Ryan Terry is good, um, which makes me think Eric wasn't poison, or Eric would be poisoned. Even though Ryan accused me yesterday all full force, you didn't have to come to me this today going, hey, I was harpy mad. Sorry about that. So just part of me doesn't really feel like he's evil. And the information I've heard in town doesn't really suggest that he's evil. So with that in mind, it makes me feel like Eric was the poisoned one of the two. Okay, Jesse. And if... Yeah, so... I, I also can't tell... I also don't know if Ryan's evil... Because he's the librarian, I wasn't. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm first night info, so you can kill me. Um, but uh, also keep in mind, someone ser- might be Sarah Novus today as well, because I was Sarah mm-hmm. Novus yesterday. True. And okay. one piece of other pertinent, other piece of pertinent. Ryan saying that Rowan's death could be bad for town, and Jesse's saying they don't mind dying, might mm-hmm. also be a good thing to consider. Yeah. Don't tie it. We do have my guy. Seven to execute. Harpy around the place. Apparently. So you're saying there is a harpy in play? Ryan was saying that. I I, I say harpy is. uh, Mm. is, I was was made harpy mad towards writing. Hmm. All right. So, looks like Rowan's about to. uh, Looks like Eric to Rowan could be Happy Madness today, potentially. Three. I, I, think, I think Rowan's been. I think Rowan actually has been Sarah Novus today. I'm. One. I'm. Uh, I'm actually of the opinion and Rowan. Uh, Rowan is yeah. executed and dies. Rowan. Rowan. Did, did I get dropped? Yeah. Uh. Oh. uh Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> bad timing. That is bad. Timing. Oh well. Executed them so hard that have you seen that She became a Sith ghost. <clears throat> Howdy. Hello, Rowan. Did you have something you wanted to say? Howdy. Oh no. Rowan. Uh, I'm a Sith Lord. No. <laughs> you got nothing you want to say? Rowan, you've you, you need to you need to read your role, yeah. Rowan. 
Rowan, are you the moon child? She is the moon child. That was my library oh. pick. Oh, <laughs> Rowan. Oh. Rowan. Kids, all right. This Rowan, is I hear you. Uh, can you all just... hear me? Yes, we can yeah. hear you. Yeah. Yes. Did you yes. have something you to say? Okay. If, if you're the oh, moon no. child, Rowan, you got to pick something. I know. Like... Give me a second. You want to just do lagging. It. You want to so do it over uh, text? Uh, over text? Uh, I Check picked victory bell. Check me. No, okay, check. Rowan, uh, you're claiming Moonchild and picking victory bell. Everyone else did. <laughs> I, I pointed to me. Okay. All right. And Rowan is executed and dies. Everybody goes to sleep. Oh, interesting. Oh. Oh, Wait, so no. was, it, was that victory bell? No, this doesn't the. <laughs> all right, that was a little bit awkward, but we're all good. Yeah, the moon child says, "Public could choose one light player tonight. If it was a good player, they die." So, Beardy has a choice to make here. <laughs> that was a solid shout by Rowan. Uh, very good use of the moon child power. I don't know how much uh, Rowan knew, but yeah, very good shout. Let's go through our night. Uh, Glenn still has no idea what his ability does after all that. Um, I figured with the yeah, with the ping of the widow when he chose widow and the harpy thing when he chose harpy, he would have figured it out. Come on, Glenn, you got this. I we we have faith in you. Let's uh Victorville still alive though. Hello. Hello. Right. Hey, how does it work? If um Beardy is smart enough to kill me, <laughs> does my Theranovus not work tomorrow? I still tell the person because you go first. So I will still tell oh. the person if you die, I'm not going to go tell them that the Serenovus is dead, so they'll still think it. Um, but it will be your last choice. Mm -hmm. Unless something else weird happens. But unless, yes. unless, yeah, Beardy wants to keep me alive and so, throw all the attention on me. Yeah, which is not I a love bad attention. Shout. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. There's not a lot of ways somebody stays alive on this script, which is mm -hmm. maybe a problem with the script. Um, but what would you like to choose tonight? Um. Well, I guess it could be, yeah, you know, other things. Anyway, what would you like to choose? Um, I'm gonna make good notes. Honestly, mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, the general. Got to push you okay. a little bit to move it along. Yeah, yeah. I'll choose Elise. Uh huh. Um, can I choose outsiders? Uh, as long as it's a good character, yes. So yeah, outsiders are fine. What ha wait, wait, what happens if I choose Elise to be the mutant and so they're mad about being the mutant? They would just have to go around saying they're the mutants, but they wouldn't die by saying they're the mutant, so it'd be a little bit clear that they're probably not oh, the mutant, but you, okay, know, okay, you never okay, know. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um so what would you like to choose? Uh, let's do Elise Artist. Elise as the artist? Yeah. Okay, got it. Good luck. Hello. Hello. The Serenobis has decided that you should be mad that you're the artist. Oh, that's fun. Okay, yeah. I'm excited. I will right. do that. Well, uh, we'll see if I come back to you in a little bit. No worries. See ya. Good luck. Hello. Okay. Yes, please. So Tonight, I'm going to pick Harpy. Okay, you pick Harpy? All right, good luck. Yeah. Okay, so yes, the Harpy goes before the demon. So let's choose our Harpy pick. Um, ooh, what's a good Harpy tonight? Who would they choose? Um, I think they might go with Eric, because Eric's kind of dictated the things, and that also backs up Ryan Terry a little bit. Um, Anyway, I think Eric would be a good shout. Um, who would they go against? What do y'all think? Who would the Harpy choose? Uh, Eric and... Oh, would they do Eric and Ariel? That's so mean. That's so mean. Oh, I'm going to do Eric and Writings. I'm going to do Eric and Writings, I think. We have to decide who our new pick is going to be, though. Um, 
Oh, because yeah, that was the known pick. Um, I might go on writings for that. Yeah, I might do writings for the pick. And then say Eric is also mad that... I think Elise is evil. I think that's what they would do. Two powerful roles. Two people who speak a lot. Hello. Oh, what's up? The Harpy wants you to be mad that Elise is evil. The Harpy wants me to be bad that Elise is evil. Okay, do I get anything else from that successful bounty hunter killing? Oh, that's later in the night, my friend. Okay, fair mm. enough. Good luck. Mm. And of course, that is not real. That doesn't really happen. But uh, so they won't die from that. But it is pain. All right. Got a conundrum for Hello, you. Hello. Yes. Uh, no. I'm not going to kill Victory Bell. Uh, as much as I was hoping we were to pick someone good to help uh, help get towards the end of the game. Uh, yes. But I'll put some stuff on Victory, and that's not the end of the world. No. Um, distraction. Keeps me safe a little bit, exactly. Yeah. Um, Eric's still Widow Poison. He's going to still get bunk information. I probably think he is Widow Poison currently. And they might push on Tessie as well. That's also fine. Uh, that chambermaid is always a bit scary, though. Uh, so I will go for uh, Ariel, please. All right, I'll take care of it. Good luck. Awesome. Thanks, Theo. Mm -hmm. Yes? I have another bounty for you. Oh. Uh, you need to go after writings. Okay. That's writings interesting. Evil. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. Knock them off one by one. Hello, General. Hello. Uh, what's that paintbrush doing in your hand there? Uh, I'm pretending to be an artist and also oh. sculpting. The, oh, uh, I didn't even know you had a, 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 a paintbrush in your hand. I was just making. I an did actually. Reference. I <laughs> well, do have the force. Brush. I clearly do have the force. All right, um, please inform me. What is the state of the galaxy? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that the dark side seems to be rising. No. So evil is slightly running at this point. Thank you very much. Really you appreciate that. that. Yes. Thank you. May the force be with you. God damn it, I never get it out. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, mm -hmm. Goblinshire. Frozen in carbonite and put on display in a tattooing gift shop. It's Ariel. Oh, oh, man. Is that it? And it's a trap. It? And uh, no, uh, so so Victory wow. Bell's evil is sin, it turns out. Oh, Apparently so. It's a trap. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Victory Bell, oh, are you the widow? I Good choice, Ron. Good choice. I don't know what's going on. Ariel, what were you? I was the chambermaid. Oh, does that do? Yeah, because I can change it to something different. No, I mean, there is a very intuitive guess. Uh, oh, thank that's you. That's it. Uh, but again, as you probably would guess, it's a very hard thing to figure out. So I'm trying to figure out what the ability is before... I get killed or the game ends. Yeah, makes sense. Um, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not the general. I'm the artist, and I haven't used my artist question yet. So I was planning on, if you okay. needed help, I, I was going to use it to check Eric's alignment, um, or Victory Bell and Eric see if they're the same alignment. But I am, if you need help with the solving, let me know. Well, I was not good. There That's should have been true. two deaths last night. That's true. If you want to believe and that the moon child, right? We're just discussing the moon child's right. Uh, Victory Bell. If Victory Bell was good, then Victory Bell should have died. Unless you believe that there's poison or something. I'm like I said. I'm currently building a world where Elise is evil. Uh, Victory Bell, I guess, would have to be evil because of that noble thing. Uh, I was originally thinking Ariel was evil, but Ariel dying in the night gives me a little credibility. Uh, as I already stated to you, your bounty hunter ping. Uh, my bounty hunter ping came back that you were evil, so I'm less inclined to think that you're evil, because... <sighs> yeah. Tricky. I haven't talked to Beardy or Glenn yet, have you? I just... Mm -mm. And with you, the thing is, for me, I think there's... The likelihood is that 
I think that yeah, tongue tied. I'm thinking one of the evil because uh, we have an extra minion. I'm mm-hmm. thinking that we have maybe that's one of the evil townsfolk. I think I'm. I think Elise is possibly a good bet here. I think I've. I'm going to nominate Elise because I think Elise is evil. Uh, I, I'm getting a good. I got a good vibe from both of you personally. Mm-hmm. I don't. Th- I don't think it's her. Right. I was trying to bluff um, Fortune Teller. I was trying to do a roll swap with Micah, but they got Micah straight away. Yeah. Um, I was and- trying to like bluff uh, General because I felt like I could just get away with saying slightly good for a couple of days, you know. And now you're saying you're the artist. Well, yeah, an unspent artist is a question. Right. We need to have a beard council. We do, don't we? A bearded, uh, bearded retreat. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about you, and at this point in the game, that's very strange. I I've tried a couple of my roles, just told Rowan. Uh, I've got three names, so as long as I survive tonight, it should be fine. Then I'm happy to die. Uh, I'm the balloonist. Uh huh. Okay. Um, my names have been Ridings, Victory Bell, Helza, in that order. Okay. Um. So. Uh, I actually believe the Amnesiac's ability. Ha- I checked you and... <laughs> God, I have to go back again. Who did I check the first day? I checked you and Elise. Both of you woke up. And then I checked you and Jesse because I wanted to know if you were actually the bounty hunter and you and you said Ryan was your ping. So if Ryan died, that meant you would have had to have woken up again. So I wanted to double check you. And you woke I picked right. you Which and Jesse and it was once in my chat. And for night two, the second night, Ariel, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, and the third night? I died. All right, that's true. <laughs> Fair enough. Good, that's a good alibi. Good excuse. Fantastic. <laughs> did you and get you- a new name now that I'm dead? Yes, I did. I got writings. Uh, was uh, the bounty hunter evil? But obviously, I'm poisoned. So, mm. or you can believe I'm evil. That's fine too. But I, for once, have... I don't think you're evil. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now you know things are really what? fucked up. <clears throat> I uh, I do think it's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know what writings is. Rowan, what are your thoughts? I'm kind of curious. How we're rolling. <laughs> why didn't we get another? Game, why didn't we get another widow thing? Is what I want to know. You should only well, get one. Yeah, yeah, I know, but yeah. like free outsiders, right? I, I'm, uh, so I'm, I'm a librarian and, and got Rowan writings as the Moonchild as as, as as Moonchild, right? No, I think Jesse set you all up, or at least whoever the evil townsfolk is. Oh, oh, come on. Well, oh, here's the back. thing, right? I, 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 I'm I, not actually the general either. Um, I'm oh, the artist, so I'm going to use general. my question to take a line. I know, yeah. It's easy to bluff general because you just say slightly good twice. Um, I'm going to use my Sorry. artist question to check Eric. You can confirm that person wasn't lying? Yes. It could say that it could mean that they're good. When you pick someone and they don't, okay. and they don't come out and you say they're good. If someone they don't say they're a widow, then, that there's a widow, then they're bad. Yeah. That would be a good. That's a good amnesiac power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I. Oh. Okay. Well, because what would a barber having a switch? Because then a new person. What would that matter? How would that make it so that they switch the widow to somebody else, and then you yeah, so the then widow a new would person become the widow, so someone would like know that, yeah. that there's someone a widow. new has to know that they're the widow. I think, so. I think it could be the same. They could repoison, was, because they could repoison. Because they could repoison. They could poison someone new. Okay. Yeah. I feel I feel like if there was a barber that got killed, they would have said something. Yeah. Correct. Like if yeah, Ryan I, Terry I was the barber, I feel like he would have said that because he doesn't have anything to gain for hiding that. Well then, <laughs> no, also, I'm I'm, I'm <coughs> I, I can fully reveal now at this point because it's all gone. I, I my my pings were Rowan and Ridings for Moonchild, um, um, okay. and Ridings okay. Ridings basically uh, denied. Uh, outs- outsider. I'm actually kind of of the opinion writings might be the mutant, but that to one that to one side. Rowan uh, did deny the uh, did deny the set, but obviously was the Moonchild and, and noted balloonist. Pretty sure that was Saranovus Madness. Yeah, Rowan, Rowan were you Saranovus? Oh, yeah, I was Saranovus yesterday. So anyone who was being here yesterday. 
Has anyone Is else he... gotten a harpy ping at any point? We're missing one Did for you? yesterday. Uh, Eric, who was your new ping? Did, did My new no, ping was Rydix. So at no least one was your. Or at least no one can can claim a harpy ping. Cause I, oh, I, I'm yeah. not the general. <laughs> I was. I think oh, Elise is the widow. Oh, that's a surprise. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think at least is evil. I, no. I think you might have. I think you might Name. have. A, I think you might I'm have. The, I'll be back in a second. Floating around. Because if. I need to bluff my artist question. Yeah, um, what's it going to be? I, because now, like, if Eric's claiming this thing and then writings could actually be evil, so I need to choose. Do I trust Eric or do I trust writings? <laughs> um, and Victory Bell's definitely evil. I'm just going to say, is Victory Bell evil? Because I'm going to say yes. <laughs> All right, is that All what right. you're going to say? Thank you. Yeah. All right, good luck. Thank you. And the, and the evil amnesiac ability might have given me a weird harpy ping because nobody else has reported one. I'm, We've also got a double. Wait, how do you get an amnesiac? I think there might be okay. an amnesiac. Hunter. From Bounty Hunter. Yeah, from the um, Bounty Hunter. Also, Victory Bell is evil. Let me quickly yeah, get yeah. to Eric, and then I'll get to Elise, and then I'll get <laughs> to my guy. So, Eric? Okay. A uh, couple of things that I have to resolve. One, uh, the Moonchild ping on Victory Bell. Victory Bell is still alive. That's odd to me. Two, there's two Widow pings that are still... Uh, suspect because we think there's a possible barber <laughs> play, but neither of the dev players at the time are claiming barber. Three, uh, Elise was in a noble ping beat by somebody that's probably not poisoned by way of me being poisoned. So, and that would be either Micah, Elise, or me. And I know I'm good, so I have to think Elise is evil in this case, uh, or unless Jesse's lying. This is a possibility, but I remember there's an evil townsfolk, Eric. There's also, yep. there's also, there's also, there's also and there's also, well. a, uh, there's also a widow running around who could just claim noble and give any three good players. Their Let me give it mm -hmm. to Elise next. Elise. All righty. Um, well, uh, I am an, uh, well, I was an unspent artist on day three, and I got to have my question, and I checked uh, if uh, Victory Bell was evil, and I got a yes. So uh, I think that we can pretty safely kill into Victory Bell today. Okay, Micah. I think Elise was Sarah Novus to be honest. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, honestly, that... General's really easy to bluff because you just say slightly good twice yeah. and then nobody questions it. So I'm lucky uh, I got this up. Micah. I love this. I'm, I'm just going to say I have, uh, out of the seven pounds, <laughs> I have five reasonably verifiable claims, including myself. Um, the only ones that are suspect on this, well, I, the only ones that are not a hundred percent confirmed right now are Jesse, Elise, and kind of Eric, who might be the drunk hmm. if the widow is dead. Um, well, otherwise yeah, Eric might be widow poisoned. Yeah. All right. I Bro. think I'm widow poisoned. Um, I... <laughs> Don't get good vibes from writings. Victory Bell, I obviously picked them and they didn't die. <laughs> At least I didn't even talk I, to your own. I. That's right, why I have reason. At <laughs> least is just like, oh, Victory Bell is evil. It's like, yeah, I kind of already did that. So that's mm -hmm. just I had to another, one of several, several bluffs. You could have picked um, a better question. Eric. Well, Eric it seems sus to me at first, but like I'm sort of getting socially decent vibes. And Glenn, mm -hmm. I know nothing about, so I'm okay with killing Victory Bell, but I'd prefer to focus on some of the other people, like right. particularly writings and at least. Speaking of writings, I don't know. I might um, actually, that's what, Micah, that's what I was just about to ask. Um, with the con with the consistent questions of potential evil amnesiac. Uh, has anyone heard from Bert Beardy or Glenn uh, an amnesiac in their twos or threes? I don't have anything for them. I've hard to claim to a couple of people. I've hard claim to a couple of people. Because they're the, the only people. they're the only two blanks on my grim. Yep. I think nominations are open. Eric I can't remember Elise. now. Maybe Eric Victory Bell gave Elise. it to me in, in one of theirs, but I can't remember. Eric, tell us. No, one. I don't ever do three for three. Uh I think I'm widow poisoned. I think that's pretty clear by the fact that I'm still alive. So it's and that my bounties are both dead, and I'm not really getting socially evil reads from the two bounties I've killed so f that have died so far, being Ryan, Terry, and Rowan. Uh, Jesse's obviously 
could be suspect with a noble ping, but being in a noble ping, uh, and the fact that at least is using an artist question on a player that's already basically confirmed evil is a little weird to me. Like, if you already know a player's evil, why would you use the artist claim to check that? That's what I'm so kind of getting. Yeah, you go ahead. I passed it to the defense. Thank you. Um, well, uh, I think that this like confirmation chain includes victory bell right because eric is claiming to be a bounty hunter who seems rowan and rowan has claimed to be the moon child who's picked victory bell so i'm thinking if i pick the end of that chain we can learn some information about the rest of it now i actually do think eric is evil i think that the noble ping's completely sober um and i just wanted to use my artist question to verify that yes i was pushed for time uh because i wanted to get it out of the way before we got to nominations so we could talk about it um but I definitely think we should be killing either Eric or Victory Bell today, specifically because, like, especially because Eric was driving a lot of the conversation <coughs> yesterday, and we might be falling into a trap of mm. trying to accuse each other if this bounty hunter is, is real, you know? Four to time. Or four to be on the block. Sorry. Eric, there should be zero doubt in your mind that you're drunk, that you're drunk or poisoned because Rowan was obviously the moon I, child. There's not. Happened. There's not. I, 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 there's zero doubt. I, uh, I know. Yeah, I'm drunk. I, mean, I don't know if I'm drunk or poisoned. I don't know if I'm drunk or poisoned, but there's zero doubt that my information's bad. And I told you, Elise is in the most obvious case of a Saranovis. Uh, no. I've yeah. No. We're still missing it's a Saranovis claim for the second day. Keep that in mind, or whatever. Hard no, we, we don't. Was, Rowan. Rowan. No, was, Rowan. Rowan, was, Rowan, Rowan, was, Rowan claimed it. Yeah, Rowan was Balunus Saranovis. Now, now that Rowan's and now that Rowan's dead, they, they, it's obviously moved to Elise. Uh, Elise Rowan, nominates Eric. Elise nominates Eric. Elise, tell us why. Uh, I just think this is, like, poisoned or not, um, I think that this would be good to get out of the way because I think that a lot of people are targeting you, Eric, and you could clear yourself by dying now. Eric. Mm -hmm. That's a good uh, point. I, my hand is for pertinent. <laughs> I I think this vote's going to be interesting to one, one, one to watch. I think Victory Bell is definitely a safer kill, but we're saving that one for last, it sounds like. Uh, that was what I was going to pitch. Yeah, I, I don't understand why we're not killing the confirmed evil player. Yeah, I know. Go I ahead. You can run this. I don't everyone's mind. Okay. You could run this. I can not move Four. Four. <laughs> Someone nominate Glenn. <laughs> Glenn's awesome. Well. Wow. some. Ariel, you want you want Glenn nominated? I do. Why? He he's been he I I because uh, I'd do it if you wanted me to pass the accusation to you. I don't. I don't have anything other than just him being like very agreeable with all the things that other people aren't agree with. <laughs> okay. Jesse, I trust Glenn. I like to nominate Victory right. Bell. Jesse nominates. Victory Bell. Jesse, Jesse, tell us why. <laughs> um, we pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure you will. Sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah. All right, Victory Bell. Strong accusation there. Mm -hmm. I don't never know who I am. That's okay. <laughs> just, just stay dead. <laughs> just stay dead. <laughs> All right. Four to be put on the block. You don't know, it it. Like you'll never know who I poisoned. Do we want to make it beatable? Or what's the, what's the vibe? No. It, it is just ended. Oh, yeah, we want to be unanimous. Oh, jeez. Wow. This is okay. They are holding on. I don't okay. think that's going to be beatable. The Council of the Living has spoken. Five. Wow. Three, <laughs> two, that. one, and Victory Bell is executed. And it's a trap! <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> No. I can probably take off this helmet. <laughs>Victory Bell served their purpose. Victory Bell was a distraction, and it's all good. And there's still the possibility of Saranovus pings going out. Um, I kind of regret giving Eric writings. I kind of wish I'd given Eric Beardy, actually. I think that would have been interesting. If, if writings is somehow killed, I'm probably going to pass that on to somebody like Glenn, um, an evil player. But let's go see what's going on around there. Rim. We don't have to go to Sharon Novus anymore. Let's go. No, let's go to our Glenn first. Well, Glenn doesn't seem to be there. Uh, oh, no, he's there. So. Yes. I'm uh, going to go back. You didn't to come to me yesterday for a question. 
Oh, am I supposed to come to you? Yeah, you have to oh, come I to me. You're coming to me. That's, uh, oh, no, no, right. you, you, uh, because uh, you know the amnesiac outs themselves a little bit by coming to the storyteller, and so it's a choice. You know, like the artist or the savant. Um, you know, people okay. are watching to see who comes to talk. Uh, I'm going to give you a freebie this time. So if you want to ask okay. a question now, I'll allow it. But in the future, you have to come to me during the day if you want to ask. I sent you a text. Uh, as well. I, I don't think you got it. No, I didn't. Uh, and again, um, I'll let you ask. So, am I? Am I nominating an evil player that then is the result of somebody's information? S rephrase that for me. Okay. Um, am I nominating an evil player that... By nominating me, then, picking. Well, picking. Okay. I'm picking an evil character. So mm -hmm. She said character, not player. An evil character that then becomes the result of somebody's information falsely. If I under, to, the, to the extent that I understand you, I'm going to say you're quite warm. Okay. But I, I, I will reserve the idea that I might not be fully understanding your meeting, but I think you're quite warm. Uh, but what would okay. you like to choose tonight? Uh, I'm going to go back to Widow. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Not the strongest choice, uh, I don't think. Uh, I'm just upset that there wasn't an evil twin that first night. We could have had an evil twin in this game. They could have been the whole game going at each other. Uh, well. Maybe I'll run the script for another team sometime and try that. Uh, Widow, let's see who's still alive. Uh, let's go to Beardy. Hello, Beardy. <laughs> Hello, Theo. I am stuck. <laughs> mm, yeah, you're a balloonist. You've got no last name now. I am. I'm also, it's a bit of a hard choice. Writings is being pushed on a little bit. Eric and Lisa are at each other's throats. I don't want to kill Glenn or Jesse, and I don't really want to kill a, a um, Raven Keeper, but I don't really want to take Hells of much further because she's so trusted. Um... <laughs> And I'm betting she'll probably pick either Eric or Elise. Um, I'm hoping, at least. I've got to roll the dice, I guess. Maybe I should be buffing Gambler instead. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's going to be Helsa tonight. Oh, I love a bold choice. Let's see yes. how it off for you. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, Theo. Good luck. Hello, Helsa. Hello. Uh, you have been killed in the night. Would right. Would you like to make a choice? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um, I'll choose Jesse. You choose Jesse, and mm. you learn Widow. Ah, thank you. Good luck. I think now we have to go talk to our general and say the rebels are starting to make a comeback. Um, now, with this Widow Ping, it can play against the evil team because it kind of, in some ways, can kind of confirm a good player. Uh, so Widow is a tough choice. Um, I'm tempted to give it to the same person again to not confirm another person because I think evil's on their back legs. Um, it doesn't say a living person. Um, who is pretty verified and good, though? Uh, I might give it to Rowan. Yeah, I think that uh, Rowan's pretty confirmed good, and I won't add too much to it. Uh, yeah, this is a good player knows you are in play. Hello, Rowan. Howdy. I don't normally come to you in the night, but I'm just here to tell you that there's a widow in play. Oh, no. Good luck. I don't want this. <laughs> I'm not evil. I don't want this. Good luck, Rowan. I'm, I'm not evil either. Mm. It's not working. We'll see how this works. Anyway. <laughs> Good luck. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm here to tell you that you're alive. Yay. And that the rebels are starting to make a comeback. And I will say okay. that Good is slightly winning. Okay, good to know. I love being Serenovus mad. I had a great time. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm upset that they didn't pick me again, but maybe it was Victory Bell. Who knows? Um, thank you very much. You're Have very a good 
uh, I don't know. Do they have day night cycles in the galaxy? What do they say? They they run on the standard calendar clock. I think. Yeah, well, so. have a good evening. A good uh, night shift. <laughs> oh, have a good night shift. You as well. Well, <laughs> next time. You'll never know. I was hearing on the radio that having the honor of being the only person ever hit by a blaster from a stormtrooper, <gasps> it's Helza. Oh. 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 Those little uh, green hawks always get hit. Oh, that's good. Oh, we're going to get two. Hey, good. Good. Remember, yeah. I'm the Raven Keeper, so oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I am. Jesse. So the funny thing is, I had put Widow in Jesse as her token, which I know, and I never get it right. But Jesse, I asked Jesse, and I was told she's the Widow. So cool. that doesn't surprise Ooh. me at all. That surprise that supports my information as well. Yeah, I, right. that, I was kind of on that train. That's what I was noting to you, Eric, because I thought Jesse might be might be yeah. Widow, and, and you'd given the false noble ping is no, that's yeah. I right. I have well, a thing that's that now hasn't happened to me before while dead <laughs> is that I was told there was a widow in play last night. <laughs> uh, yeah, friend is I think, all right, that's that's a, that, that is a weird because I was not expecting to be woken up in the night. <laughs> okay, so we definitely have an amnesiac then. Or yeah. Before we go um, into private chats, hang on. So I think this is a little monster game. So far I, mm. I was harpy mad yesterday that Elise is evil. I'll tell you that right, right. now. So oh. Harpy mad. Not Sarah Nova's bad. I right. was. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah. So there is a harpy, a Sarah Novus, and a widow in play. That's three minions plus an evil town somewhere because it was a bounty hunter. I led yeah. to believe that because of this, it's a little monster game. Uh, the old question is now that means the evil team's probably voting on who has the demon, right? That's kind of where I'm sitting at. Uh, also, the they hey. could also put the little monster with the evil townsfolk. Yeah, that's true. I'm uh, I'm I'm of the opinion. So I, I've kind of got the the grim put put together a bit on on my end. It, it, hmm. That's based on who's been hit with what and at, ver at various times. I'm honest. Honestly, uh, my my major thought right now is uh, it's either Glenn or Beardy. I think it's between the two. I think it's between Glenn and Beardy as the demon. I think um, little monster. Keep your eye. I, I, I do. I think. I think you're being misled, Eric, because I think I, that I, there's I, like. I think there's an evil amnesiac that's throwing around weird minion things. Is I think what is I think what's happening with regards to the harpy that I think all of that <coughs> is. is Ryan, I, yeah, I do not yeah. believe that I do not believe that Theo would kill the uh, the fortune teller night one on a. I just fundamentally don't believe that that's what Theo would do. I, I'd like to also back Ryan off that because there's no reason why Rowan would get woken up as a dead character to told that there's a widow in play. Yeah. So, yeah. There, so there, there has, has to be a piece amnesiac. about – it has to be an, uh, an amnesiac that's doing something with minion powers or minion abilities. Maybe they have a smorgasbord of options to pick from. I don't so, know, but so if the amnesiac hasn't come forward yet, then that's the evil townsfolk would be. Yeah. Guess. If that's the theory we're going with, then the evil townsfolk is the amnesiac. I I'm think, inclined to think it's Glenn or Beardy right now. At least yes, Glenn Beardy yeah, are in a private chat. Mm -hmm. I should mention. Yeah, yeah right. I Glenn, I think are I think I think one of one of Glenn between Glenn and Beardy is a uh, is an evil amnesiac. Evil amnesiac. Between them is the demon. And I was I anyone thought. Sarah Novus. Yesterday, at least, at least, at least was last night. At least was Sarah mad that they were the artist. That she yeah. was the artist. Yeah. Uh, uh, so what I have for oh. Sarah mad? Uh, Jesse was claiming Sarah mad librarian on day one, but I don't know where that real was. Uh, Rowan was claiming Sarah mad balloonist on day two. Elise was Sarah Mad artist on day three. I was Harpy Mad on day three. I don't know where the other Harpy Mads were. I don't so Eric, that means probably the evil, uh, evil uh, um, amnesiac <coughs> is probably the the um, either maybe they're no, they wouldn't be the maybe the amnesiac right. can be either the widow or the Harpy. Or just get they, the random minion ability each yeah. night. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah. yeah. I, I'm going. I'm going to note here. Yeah. Really quickly, well, we need to, we need to be real careful with our dead votes. We've got three. Mm-hmm. We've got three living evil. We've got the demon, mm-hmm. evil amnesiac, and the widow. So Jesse is, and I, I have no reason to doubt Hell's this ping, uh, and it aligns. So I'd say Jesse is definitely on the evil. We'll be voting against. Uh, <laughs> then we've got. Like to the two other evil, the evil amnesiac, the evil townsfolk, if not the amnesiac. We're tied. And, Hang and on, right. So demon. What demon is it if it's not a little monster? I ask you that question. Yeah. It's not Aladikia because we would have heard the right. pick Think three. It's, right. it's yeah. an yeah. Yeah. Sure. No um, one else is talking about their information being poisoned. It so. could be Imp. And yeah. then they I, just I, killed I, themselves yeah. earlier. Can I present a theory? Maybe right. Michael was the imp, and that's why the fortune teller died. <laughs> what you don't want to be the Kelza. demon again. What if Kelza was the Beardy, imp? you're saying you're the balloonist? Oh. Okay. I told a few people on day one. and been You know what it out a perfect day. bluff for a Widow game is? A balloonist. Balloonist. Nomination is open. Eric nominates Beardy. Eric nominates yep. Beardy. Beardy. Eric, tell us why. Uh, I think that I, right now I have on my grim. I think Glenn or Beardy are possibly evil. I believe Elise was a Sarah Mad that they were the artist. I do believe Elise was a general. I'm sorry, I was Harvey Mad yesterday. I have no choice. I have to say that uh, <laughs> writings was one of my bounty pains. But I think writings. I mean, if this is like some weird innocent town f- ping that writings that I'm getting for writings, that's I, I'm going to put that aside for a second. Uh, Jesse's something weird going on. Possibly widow because it tells his claim. Ryan, I'm believing Ryan is good. Uh, Victory Bell is evil because of the Moon Child. Rowan, I believe, is confirmed Moon Child. That's basically townsfolk. Micah, I believe, is the fortune teller. Ariel, I believe, is the chambermaid. Uh, Hells is already Raven Keeper. That leaves me to Glenn and Beardy, and I think Beardy is the way to go here. That's where my vote's going. Yep, I'm, I'm in agreement on this, and we need to be careful with dead votes here. I'd probably put at least one more on let this. Me, just Brian, first, uh, let me give it to Beardy first, then we'll come back. If you want to say right. something, you can say that. Beardy, go ahead. I've got four names. Kill me. If I'm a demon candidate, get me out of here right now. Okay. Full final three. Okay, you can uh, share other information as it goes around the, the grim. <coughs> Majority is three. I, I think it's line good in the movie glad as a follow up, but I guess four is four is plenty. But uh, well, I don't I don't make this beatable. Right? This doesn't make me feel comfortable. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we we should still have plenty here. I mean, I, uh, I we did. just got fucked, didn't we? God damn it. I did hard claim oh, sorry. to hell's a night one or day one. So <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was thinking it could be. Five is enough. Second goal. I mean, we could still if we're wrong, we still have another execution tomorrow. That is true. We do still have one more. I'm- uh, my general info as well is slightly good, slightly good, slightly evil, slightly good. Um, so huh. we're making a comeback. <laughs> we were doing rough there for oh. a second. I still think it's a little I still think it's a little monster game. I really do. Yeah, uh, so I'll, I'll nominate Jesse because I can't. Yeah. It's either Glenn or Jesse probably holding the baby. Um, Noble being alive this long, I don't see why a, a demon uh, would kill a raven keeper um, with choice. Um, Just so random. I can give her. I can give a reason why. Well, let's, um, let's, to, let's give it to because Jesse it's, first. it's oh, sorry. Let's give it to Jesse first, and then we'll uh, let other people talk. Jesse. Um, I mean, I'm I'm the noble. I got first night info. You can kill me. Okay. I'm, um, the, I want to cool the, the death piece, but the pertinent is if you kill the Raven Keeper when there's m- multiple people left, six or more, the likelihood that they actually pick the demon is quite low. Three to um, be put on the block. So we we, we, had, we had more than three. Yeah, we, we need we need like. Or sorry, five. Yeah. Yeah, we had it, I, I, my six thing messed to up. Bone, yeah, five. Five. Those, six. Tie six to execute. Apologies. Should be six to execute, I believe. Uh, whatever, it's yeah, not going to make it. I have to tie six to execute. That's not going to make it. Four's not um, enough. Uh, that, that was all the people Ryan was talking about just voted. That, that was my bad. I. That's <laughs> true. Is not Final intended. call for nominations. All right, I'm going to call it then. And five, mm. four, three, two, one, and. We kind of end up with he just evil alive, aren't we? Executed and dies. We could do Glenn or Jesse and tomorrow. Congratulations go to. Oh, if there's a tomorrow. Right. The good team. Oh, hey! 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 Wow. All right. Let's go oh through God. this one. We a did bit, it. Shall we? <laughs> All right. We'll start with. <laughs> 
Ryan Terry, who was indeed our real librarian, yeah. who saw a moonchild between Rowan, our moonchild, and writings our mutant. That was uh, mean, Theo. Mean. That was mean. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I gotta give you a challenge, writings. I think I did okay. I, I think, think you I did, did okay. You're still, you I made actually it all the way sussed through. out what what you were, writings, based on your responses. Uh, <laughs> I was like, because I thought I thought you had me dead to rights as a mutant, and that you're just gonna push it. And I'm like, don't do it, man. Don't do it. No, I, I, I got you. I will say, uh, just for future reference, if an evil character tells me that they're going to bluff Moonchild, I will go through the whole thing I did with Rowan as well. So don't oh, necessarily no. think that the, what happened with Rowan was confirmation that Rowan is the Moonchild. Uh, that can also yeah, be yeah. an evil player yeah. telling right. me they want to block right. that. That's so true. Just be aware of that. Yeah. Um, but Rowan was our Moonchild, and. Uh, picked Victory Bell. Victory Bell did not die because Victory Bell was your Saranovus. Knew that. Yep. Uh, Victory yep. Bell chose yeah. their own fellow minion, Jesse the Widow, on day <laughs> one, on night one, to be <sighs> mad uh, as the librarian to try to give Jesse a little cover, I think. Uh, and then chose Victory Bell, help me out. Who else did you choose? You chose Rowan as the balloonist, which Rowan, I think, was bluffing a little bit. What else did you choose, Victory Bell? <laughs> Um, I think after that it was oh, uh, Elise. Yes, Elise as your artist. Uh, Elise mm -hmm. was indeed your general with the hairstyle to match. Uh, so that worked out <laughs> well. Uh, and That's got exactly cool, what yeah. she said. Uh, was told uh, slightly good, slightly good, and then slightly evil when evil started to kind of push ahead a little bit, I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when Victory Bell died and when our imp, Beardy chose Helza to die in the night because Ooh. as I think Ryan Terry said, or no writings, I think, uh, maybe kill off the Raven Keeper while there's still enough people alive uh, so that the chances of picking the demon are lower. I think Beardy was betting that maybe Helza would choose Eric or Elise because that's where the action was the day before. Uh, Beardy, do you have I anything was, to I add was. to that? <laughs> no, I was hoping yeah, um, Eric or Elise and we would push on the other one, whichever one you, you picked. I was hoping. I had to take a risk. Yeah, yeah. A, I think it's a good bet. Uh, it could have no, uh, played good well if Jesse had drawn Sussa next day. Writings, you want to say something? Or was it writings? I thought I heard somebody. Oh no, that. that's a good. That's uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, I might have, but yeah, I, I, I would have killed myself. I would have done the Raven Keeper thing too. So like when you did, when you're like, there's no reason to kill. I was like, yeah, there is. <laughs> Right. Uh, we did have Micah Draws, your fortune um, teller, I, who got killed off on day one, on night I'm one. Sorry, Micah. By your. Mm, mm, I have a ferret. <laughs> <laughs> what you dare? So uh, okay. Ariel was your chambermaid, who got a couple of nights of sober information. Um, <laughs> kind of checking out people like Eric and Helza and Micah Draws, and I forget who else. Um, but yep, got accurate information to help verify their claims. So Eric was indeed your bounty hunter, who was widow poisoned. So got nothing but good players. Um, and yes, finally, Glenn, of course, was your amnesiac, whose ability Crazy. read, each night, choose an evil character that wakes. Tonight, that character appears to trigger on a good player. Uh, so uh, if he had chosen a harpy, which he did once, uh, once or twice, I think, uh, I go and wake somebody up and tell them that they're harpy mad. They're not actually harpy mad, but I told them they're harpy mad. Uh, yeah, if he had chosen right, Sarah right. Novus, I would have chosen somebody else to be Sarah Novus mad. If he had yeah. chosen uh, evil twin, I would have woken up Elise and said, Elise, you're the good twin, and Writings is your evil twin. And I've woken up Writings and said, Writings, you're the good twin, and Elise is the evil twin. That's fun. If he had chosen, uh, amazing. You know, if he had chosen you're gonna do little, something like that. If he chosen I little monster, I would have woken up somebody. Eric, you are holding the baby. <laughs> if he had I have chosen, to say, you know, I, I yeah, was just really that, that none of you that none of you tried to execute me because I was saving you can strike me down, but I shall become more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> no. If he had chosen Al Hadikia, I would have run everybody yeah. through the Al Hadikia thing in the night. Um, but he chose wow. Widow a couple of times, which was a little bit of a mm -hmm. challenge because it kind of confirms a good player. Um, and so that's why I did Rowan that last night because it kind of plays against evil by choosing Widow in, to some degree. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's okay. why I chose. I didn't want to verify somebody else as good, so that's why I chose mm -hmm. Rowan in the night. Yeah, that's, um, that's part of why I had I a love good that. Writings towards the end was because I had been made harpy on on them early and yeah. 
Right. right. Yeah, I think that's right, a common, right. and I will give credit. Uh, that's an amnesiac ability that was developed by Patters about a year ago, and I really oh, wanted to right. give it a shot. So that was Patters, and uh, <laughs> no, that great. was Jedi Mind Tricks, which is a Star Wars modified version of Patters script that he mm -hmm. ran with this one. Uh, a few new characters have come out since then, like the Harpy. And I thought that was a fun one to add into this. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Thank you very much for writing. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really yeah. like that idea of the Amni ability. I think that would be good on a script with a pit hag. So you can somewhat fake that, like, oh, now we've made an evil twin. Yeah. Things like that. That's true. I, know, Jeeva, I, I love that you picked me and what you picked me to do. That was great. <laughs> it's also a way to kind of maybe bring people back into the game a little bit who maybe have yeah. been knocked out of the game. Yeah, I like it. I, like yeah. I think yeah. I would be a careful with no. pit hag, though, because I don't want to accidentally wake somebody up and say, you've been pit hagged into something that they haven't been. So mm -hmm. that would be a yeah. tricky one for a pit hag if they chose. So it'd be have to, how you word it. It would have to be how you word it. Yeah. Like, you could be like, you have a good twin. You have an evil twin. Uh, yeah, I guess I could you do something don't... funky like that, yeah. Uh, or, yeah, yeah I don't as know. As long as you don't say it's a trick. Uh, but, yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> thank you all very much for playing today. I uh, hope you all had a good time. Uh, does anybody have anything they want to plug um, real fast? I know Elise and Writings are filming this for their respective channels. Elise, you want to tell us where they yes. can watch it perhaps later? Yeah, come, come watch on YouTube, Elixa Elise. Um, yeah, thanks. Awesome. Writings. <laughs> yeah, come uh, over to Hit List Video. We got... BOTC content. We also do some movie reviews and just movie stuff in general. Love it. Very Anybody cool. else have anything they want to plug? Beardy? Uh, no, just my normal YouTube. Yeah, Beardy Taz. Find me on YouTube. Short recaps of games I'm in. Excellent. Anybody else have something? Nah. Um, okay. <laughs> give me a second. I'll look something up real quick. Then I can pitch it. Helza at home <laughs> on YouTube. If I'm oh, mistaken. well, yeah. Helza at home on YouTube. But I haven't made a video for over a month, so, yeah. Oh, that's all right. You still have videos there for people to watch. Well, uh, I'm I do. sweating in this do. hood. I'll say yeah. that. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to quickly look for a place uh, for us to raid. The internet worked. Uh, Ryan, did you have something you want to video that will come up because you can watch me. Yeah, live. I had to look up the date. Oops, off the key. If you're on the uh, East Coast and want to see some independent horror, uh, Crackoon and Killer Campout 2 are having a premiere uh, May 25th and May 26th. You could see oh. me die horrible deaths. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right, anybody have anything else? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and call it there. Again, happy Star Wars Day to everybody who celebrates in a couple oh, of days. Man. Happy May Day, uh, official May Day for everybody who celebrates yeah. May Day and Labor Day, uh, International Labor Day as well. Uh, and until we see you again, we're going to go raid our friend Matt Cat. so stick around for another great game. And hopefully we'll see you back here next week. We have another special game for you, so stay tuned for that. I think next week might be our... It's either our Mother's Day game or our Armed Force Armed Services game. So we're going to have one of those. Uh, right as Ben logs off, unfortunately, because he doesn't appreciate that. Uh, but Both I of those sound fun. Everybody, please stay safe, have fun, love each other, and may the Force be with you. Good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Great here in a few seconds. Bye. Good night. <laughs>